And we are live. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode number 11 of the Fuse 4 Network podcast. I am one of your hosts, Dave McCauley, joined by live and in person, this guy. Hi, guys. I don't know what that was. This is the Hydrosme, <laughs> a.k.a. Richard Pollock. And, of course, we have our merry cast of men, manly men, and so forth. We have, uh, starting up first, we have, oh, God, Mufasa Fernando. That son of a bitch. Who is and actually no, able, not, like, all jokes aside, is able to leave his house now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and by the way, we do not wear tights. Just to let everyone know, you don't want, no, these and tights, no. But, no. Just, yeah, me and tights, come on. What the Richard, fuck are you wearing? Look at me. Look at me in tights. Look at me in tights. Why did I just look at your dick? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that was weird because I guess. popped it out. Okay. Just for you, Dave. Oh, yeah. And then we have also next on the jacket we have video gaming for you. AKA What's Joe. up, everybody? Oh, Grandpa Joe here. Grandpa Joe. <laughs> and then I sit on his lap. It's also been a while for me being in this podcast, but it's been even longer for this guy being in. We also Woo. have Call Me Matub, AKA Matt. What's happening, everybody? I missed your face. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, we missed you as much as we missed Dave, which is not much. <laughs> yeah, last time I was here was uh, Valentine's Day. Yes, really? it was. <laughs> yeah. You can see how long ago it was that I was in a podcast. <laughs> and last but not least, we have good old Fuse for Spence, a.k.a. Tyler, a.k.a. Spence. Hello there. Hello, guys. So what is, you know... In, in all actuality, uh, even though I've been online all day today, I haven't spoken to you guys about what's been going on in your lives. What have you guys been up to? Especially Matt. Um, so yeah. what, what have you guys been up to the last couple of weeks, the last uh, little while? Let's, let's see. But like you said, all jokes, uh, all jokes aside, yeah, um, I was work, probably just working, but also about the whole – what happened in Boston the past week at the marathon and everything, which we'll explain it more during the podcast. But i um, been working, and I also picked up Injustice. So definitely got – I haven't played it yet. I, I, I just picked it up. haven't even played it yet. Yeah, I've been tired, guys. I had a fucking long week at work. But, yeah, uh, probably after the podcast, well, probably me and Tyler, I think – I don't know if he's touching the game yet, but I think we're gonna be starting to play soon, hopefully. So, and Dave's we're gonna, gonna touch get each other's like... penises and play yes. injustice. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah, it's an injustice not to touch each other's penises. <laughs> <laughs> it's an injustice to touch my penis. <laughs> so, no, but yeah, but besides that, nothing really too much. Upload, upload, um. Yeah, I upload daily. Yeah, that's a bullshit lie. You actually right there. did a video. I uploading. actually did. It. I I uploaded a video like last week. I got put, probably put one up today. Hopefully, I'll do a bunch of things after the podcast. Hopefully, I don't get too lazy because because you get inspired, get inspired, but all <laughs> by all these other content creators, and you're like, I must post some content to the U of Tubes. And well, so yeah, like just I must tell people on right? one video and get a million hits. I can, do it. <laughs> I can do it. I will show my penis. Well, that's like was it a couple of weeks ago? I was just dicking around on my guitar. I was like, I should make a video, <laughs> and so I did. It and took it me like funny. five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen it, uh, I'll just, let me jot it down here. I'll remember to put it in the show notes. Uh, check out Matt's new video, and I'll also put uh, Chris's new video in there as well. Yeah, check out. I know. I, I just opened a ten of Yu Gi Oh because I'm a Yu Gi Oh nerd now. Fuck it, I'll get flamed for this, but I don't care. I love Yu Gi Oh. Use all your Yu Gi Oh cards to Lando. And you will reveal. Hey, yeah, I will. I used to I collect you. Magic cards, so it's all good. I used to play Pokemon when I was like ten. Well, oh yeah, and Pogs. What the hell is oh. a Pokemon? Dude, Pogs were <laughs> the shit. And Crazy Bones. And that's something I never got into was Crazy Bones. Crazy Bones oh, is I awesome. I love Crazy Bones. Uh, 
I just, started wh- whipping it. Yeah, I saw all the kids playing Crazy Bones, and I was like, oh, well. <laughs> wasn't it just like dice? Like kind of. retarded bowling? It's like that or retarded dice. Yeah. Hey, hey, guys, you're not supposed to use R word anymore. Oh, yeah. sorry. It's been yeah, a while. Guess what? It's retarded. Yeah. <laughs> PG, damn it. Yeah. Uh, did, did, uh, did anyone remember Digimon the card game? There was a Digimon card oh, game. There was a Digimon uh-huh. one, and yeah, there's also was. Digimon like. Uh, Virtual fighters like Tamagotchis, where you plug oh, them together. Oh, I remember those. <laughs> yeah, me and my sister had those. I had two of those. That reminds me. I need to look up that. Uh, I avoided the Tamagotchis. I need to look up Digimon porn after the podcast. And <laughs> oh, Whoa, you guys send me why? To that one. Do you guys Careful remember what you wish for, Joe? You could find it pretty easily these days. Do you guys remember? <laughs> Probably scanners? can. I don't know. <laughs> remember what scanners? Did you guys ever have those? Oh, no. yeah, I remember those. You scan the barcodes of your suits and shit, and it, like, gives you monsters. Yeah. It was, like, Digimon, like, but you just, like, I used to, I think it was invented to keep kids in the grocery store from, like, bugging their parents. <laughs> like, running down the aisles, like, let me scan this bastard. Beep, like, beep, oh, beep, my God, Ragu sauce healed all my monsters. Like, I gotta remember that. <laughs> and then you start scanning the shit out of Ragu. <laughs> Tampons. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. That was an awesome code I found. <laughs> that, that makes me think of a game. Do you guys remember Monster Ranchers when you have to always put different discs and it used to give you different mods? It was for, oh god, I think it was for the PlayStation, where you could get different music discs and then you could put it in there and actually got a monster out of whatever disc you put in. Mm-hmm. Uh, different discs had different monsters. You guys remember that? If you... Yeah, I remember that. Ooh, oh my god. I don't know. I have no idea. That was the shiz back in the day. Uh, I just remember when I got, when I kind of didn't care about the Pokemon cards, so I started selling them off. That was a great time. What? I had so many good games out of that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, man. Here, so I'll, many uh, good 64 games out of that. Let's do a trade. You show me your titties, and I'll give you this Charmander. <laughs> no way. That, it's only Dude, worth a hologram, I, right? I wouldn't even show my titties for a Charmander. <laughs> you need a hologram. You need, you need some type of hologram. Oh, it needs to be special. Okay. Yeah. It was a special moment when you like, nine, <laughs> and you saw a movie for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I just go? <laughs> Where did you go, Rich? Where did I so, just go? Hang on. Did you see a real life booby when you were nine? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Don't lie. <laughs> I Dude, did Richard not. Was, Richard I was a playground pimp. Yeah. I just don't know where I went. I just kept on going. I, I thought I was in a comedy skit. And... Dude, I, I was I was I 16 I was. when I saw my first booby. I mean. Yeah, I think it was around that too. I was like, oh, oh my God. Really? Oh my God. I was an infant. Oh, well, yeah, okay. my I've first seen, I've, seen, uh, I've seen your movie. mom titty too. Your mom's titty too. So come. Uh, <laughs> mom titty. Well, 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 you're you're hungry at the moment. <laughs> Can we quote a bunch of people at, like Dave McCauley? Like everybody sees mom titty. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen your mom's titty. Hashtag mom titty. Oh, mom's titty. <laughs> now turning. We should so, put that on a on a uh, t-shirt. Everybody. I see his mom, Teddy. Hashtag <laughs> <he's born. laughs> So, what is what has everybody else been up to? Like the last yeah. little bit, we, we kind of just fucking skipped there. over that a little bit. Yeah, go, John. go ahead, Tyler. What we skipped, John? Oh, John. Okay, go ahead, John. Sorry, I won't talk about shit. <laughs> but you got you got a. I, I see that what? you got a new uh, a new uh, toy though, right? Yeah, I got to review it sometime. I got it's a, not a toy, uh, it's a Thunder Megazord from back in the day. Sorry, excuse me, princess. Yeah. Um, right. But other than that, I've been doing like random videos, uh, wrestling requests, and uh, NES games, and I Battle Toads, Double Dragon, and some arcade games. Same old stuff. Yo, you got Battle Toads? Yeah, I got Battle Toads in my pants. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I think Does that's called. Hear? I think it's called like herpes or something. I don't know. <laughs> you guys remember? Oh, you guys remember Genital back warts. when that was that was a funny thing to do is to call uh, GameStop and be like, "Hey, you guys got the new Battletoads?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know they called Pawn Stars a lot for that. <laughs> they mm-hmm. called them. There we go. I John, actually, we're doing it live. We're calling GameStop right now and asking if they got Battletoads. Oh, uh, they do have a call feature on here now, or they have there, for a while. There is a <laughs> GameStop would still be open on the West Coast. Oh. Yeah, that's true. 
I, I used to call GameStop if the Duke Nukem Forever came out when it was supposed to come out, because I had that pre-ordered. What, like 10 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be calling, is it out yet? No. What do you mean, no? What the, what I put $10 no, dollars down on that. What the hell, Google Plus? It, it, oh, sounds like you're typing, so we muted your mic. Well, clearly <laughs> everybody can hear us, so... Stop looking oh, at that poor Dave. Oh, what the fuck's going on here? Stop sexting. Yeah. So, I, John, have you gotten... You were talking a couple, like a, a month ago or two months ago, about the original uh, Megazord. Uh, how it was yeah. like Canada only and stuff like that, but didn't it didn't eventually make its way? Or yeah, no, you for, you got one, right? Yeah, for some reason it was supposed to be only in Canada, and we, me and Bizarro was really pissed about that. And uh, then for some reason this all came to the states, so I was lucky enough to grab one. So did you did you end up getting one? Yeah, sitting on the. Uh, oh, you got it. Yeah. Let's see it. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, shit. And all over there. Whip that shit out. Nerd boner. Yeah, you whip that nerd shit out. Boner. <laughs> Not your nerd boner. Don't whip that out. <laughs> yeah, I got a video on it on my channel if y'all ever want to check it out. Oh, shit. Okay. God damn. I didn't even know. Yeah. It's funny he mentions that because he reached a thousand subscribers the other day. Yes, he did. Yes. Nice. He's not naked, though. Like <laughs> Well, no one wants to see a naked fat man, so there you go. <laughs> I don't know, hey. man. I'm pretty sure there's entire websites devoted yeah, to naked fat man. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, I, I was waiting <laughs> for it. I was waiting for it, this podcast. Mm, yeah. yeah, Joe Naked. <laughs> oh, man, I'm I'm flirting with 250 subscribers. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Watch <laughs> out. 44. It's a lot of hard work, man. But Matt, you know, you know, nice backpack. <laughs> backpack. Nice backpack. Dude, hey, man, great backpack. Okay, so seriously, that video, like, every once in a while starts circulating through my office again, and fucking two weeks ago, people are coming up to me and be like, oh my god, I need your autograph on my backpack. <laughs> 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 like, you would think every single person in my office has seen it by now, but nope. It's in it's in my uh, in my bookmark. So like what maybe an hour ago I just opened it and I, we we're just I think watching. I favorited it. the fucking thing. I'm not yeah, sure we watched it like is. three or four times and we we're like, oh my god, this is awesome. So well, I, think, I think one day I watched it and during the whole time I was just going back, 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 back. <laughs> did I did I tell you guys about the the screenshot that's up at work? No. So in one of the labs, this guy Roger, who originally found the video, actually no, Brian found the video, but Roger took a, a screenshot, like a full-size screenshot of my face, and printed it out and, like, stuck it on the wall behind his desk. No. And so people will come up to, like, ask him a question, and then they'll be like, so anyway, I was... Uh, is is that the kid that works downstairs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Ne next time you're at work, go up to it and sign it. <laughs> yeah, oh, that would be you. awesome. Yeah. Just, like, with love from Matt, it exactly. wasn't a and backpack. The, and then on the bottom, put call me maybe. <laughs> I don't have that backpack no more. Dude, I never Not. had the backpack. <laughs> I had Unicorns to make time. dreams possible. <laughs> they they never let me keep the backpack. Every girl believes in a unicorn. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, I noticed that you're smoking a death stick, man. Uh, don't talk to me about that death stick shit. And I see you smoking that vaporizer. Yeah, you got to you got to switch, man. Check this out. Look at I'm smoking R2D2. All right, like tell me that's not the coolest fucking thing ever. Nerd. The only problem with that is if I have one, it'll probably go up my bowl cuz I'll probably Whoa. break myself. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What just happened there? What the fuck's going on? Yeah. What just happened? In all just... seriousness, though, yes, I will check that out later on, and I might be pursuing that later on. Well, man, if Jesus. if you uh, if you're a pack a day smoker, it ends up saving you quite a bit of money. Uh, I probably smoke a pack every three or four days. Hmm. You might break even. I'm Ooh, right. Dave, you added Google Effects. What does that do? No, no, I'm just trying something out. Just ignore it. Ignore everything. <laughs> no, ignore, ignore the hand here. behind the curtain. <laughs> I'm hitting buttons now. Oh, wait, no, <laughs> crap. See, I lose my, my toolbox if I do that. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure something out here. Crap. Dude, I've seen trying to make some phone calls. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so last weekend I was in Chicago for uh, Vape Bash. Yep. 
I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. Uh, no, uh, but I, I saw I saw it on your Facebook, and that's why I asked. Uh, but I was going to ask, how, how much was like that, that, R2, that uh, R2-D2 vaporizer? Well, huh? how much so the, that? the, what I'm currently vaping is called a, uh, a Vamo. It's a variable wattage mod, which might be a little too... Um, might be a little too advanced when someone's just starting out. Usually people just get, what the hell, Dave? Mmm, <laughs> 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 sexy. That's well, Guys, just calm down. It's Unicorn Man. <laughs> That's the thing that you, every girl believes in. Do you, have, do you have the video of him, or the picture of him <clears throat> going like this? There's uh, no picture of that guy, like, no. doing this. No, but I, I, how do this you know the that? ones? Because this, I'm from the internet. Yes, this is the internet. You search up Unicorn Man, this is what you get. Why would you be searching Or Unicorn that? Man or Unicorn Boy. Why the fuck not? I mean, why, why the that's fuck not? That's a game. <laughs> this is... It's just too cool. And that's what we do on our spare time. We just look at Unicorn Man all day. Yep. Well, why not? I mean, is, is it man? He's a unicorn? What? <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? But anyways, go ahead. Continue so, on. So, Chicago, right? So I've been... I've been vaping for on and off for like three years. I've been doing it for almost a year now, like without smoking. And uh, so I've always I've had the Vamo for a while. You guys have seen another um, uh, podcast, but it, it has been black. And so I got this new wrap for it from uh, J Wraps. That was ten bucks, I think. Totally worth it. I mean, it's free. Oh my God, Tyler's Dave. <laughs> What? <laughs> hey, that guy looks. That's a really sexy guy. Yeah, he's pretty fucking handsome. Oh man, look at that! I've never looked better. Man, it's beautiful. Please raise your other two arms. You know, you just raise your other two arms. You could just go to DaveMcCullough.com. <laughs> I think your head's swelling, Dave. It is. Jesus Christ! Look at it. Oh my God! It's getting bigger. My head. My head is getting bigger. Oh, uh, Jeebus! That's gross. But I so and with, now you're a pimple. <laughs> with, with the wrap, is that like just like a sticker that goes around, kind of yeah, like it's a, like a like it's an a, Xbox kind of thing. Where you yeah, can, it's a sticker that goes around. And you can take it uh, off and it's whatnot. Like the it's, iPad so it's like an iPhone see. cover. Yeah, yeah kind of. Oh, um, that was pretty cool though. And it it comes with the cutouts for like the the screen and the buttons and stuff, so you don't have to like, you know, cut it out yourself. Nice. And actually, the I had the guy who sells them put it on because I'm. I suck at putting on like screen protectors and stuff. There'd just be bubbles everywhere. Yeah, same here. So please inform me what you are actually smoking. So this is currently, um, it's from OKC Vapes, which is a company out of uh, Oklahoma City. Sponsor us. <laughs> and it's called Zoolander. I don't know if you can see the Looks label. Looks like monkey piss. And I'm actually dripping. So in here is an atomizer. I don't know if you guys can see that. Mm. And you just take the liquid and you couple little drops, drop, mm. drop, 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 drop. But mm. what is the liquid? It's, it's um, it's propylene. It's see. propylene glycol mixed with vegetable glycerin, a uh, little bit of nicotine, and some flavoring. This one tastes like sweet. So a whole lot of extract. But tub tutorials: how to vape. Maybe I should. I mean, it's. There you go. It's um so vape bash. It was the biggest e-cig conference to date, and it had including the vendors sixteen hundred people. Well, so today e was four twenty, e but we don't. The e three of e-cigs. E e it really was, and like all the the vaping celebrities were there. Like there's a bunch of YouTubers that that um have you know thirty thousand subscribers just because of their e-cig stuff. So I got to meet a lot of them. There was a uh, Grim Green. He kind of got me into vaping. P. Bissardo, He's a pretty cool dude. Um, this guy Zen, who kind of like revolutionized the e-cig industry. He was there. Met the. There's a vaping podcast called Vape TV. Met all those guys. <laughs> you should be on it. Yeah, I'd love to be on Vape TV. That would be awesome. But I don't know enough, so I would just look like an idiot. Well, just shoot him an email. Just let him go with the flow, man. <laughs> See, I'm you know sorry, enough. whenever you talk about vapes, I just think of, like, you're smoking weed, because that's all I know about what vapes are for, because uh, I guess I'm Canadian. I get <laughs> I get asked if there's weed in this thing constantly. <laughs> like, well, 
like honestly, if I'm doing it in public, people walk up and be like, I, I'm so, sorry, are you are you smoking weed? I'm like, what about this? It says there's weed in here. Like, Excuse me, sir. Are you smoking the reefer? <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> like I've had people come up and be like, oh, you like Doctor Who? I'm like what? They're like you're oh, smoking God. a sonic screwdriver, right? That's the other thing. That's when I see it. Like I've seen all that. Sh- I, I don't, I'm not a Doctor Who kind of guy, but I've seen it on like what? Uh, what's that fucking website? Uh, Think Geek. They have like uh, the replicas on there or something like that. Mm-hmm. So I see that, and then I see what you have there, and I'm like, oh, well, kind of. But I, I'm smart enough to know what that is. Like I can, I can differentiate the two, instead of being like, oh my god, you got that, you Doctor Who. Oh yeah, sir. I see. But, <laughs> I just offended a whole bunch of Doctor Who fans. So like, yeah, Fuck this you, guy. you're like, hey, hey, you you're a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I uh, can see some flagging going on on Dave McCauley's channel. <laughs> is anyone bumps down? Bumps down. Is anyone here a fan of Doctor Who? Uh, I, I've never actually heard of it. Like, like, <laughs> no, I, I, I can't really say that. I, I've just, well, I've never seen it. So, well, Helmut watches Doctor Who, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it's on Netflix too, right? So yeah, they have all that shit on Netflix. Some of it's on uh, Netflix maybe, so. maybe you should check it out. I, I don't know. I watched some. It's just. You know, some guys are more fans of uh, The Walking Dead. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's I don't even watch the I show don't even watch The Walking, Walking Dead, Dead, so... I don't even you watch know, I, I had a joke set up here, and I'm waiting for it to take form here. It's, it's all right. Here, let me finish it for you. It's Last called se- Your Face. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff and shit. Well, no, it wasn't my face that was supposed to pop up. It was supposed to be Christopher Walken. But uh, last, uh, last, last season of Dexter, guys... Oh, my God! I know, I know... Still have uh, not ever seen one episode. He got it. He got it. So either. can we... I'll wait so until we, it's done. We can't really talk about last season's finale. because No. Nobody's, I know. When in the... In the... Uh, in the... Uh, in the, uh, in the uh. You know what? Fuck it. In June, in June, we'll talk about it. Let me guess. He does. Because with all that time... Well, oh, no, it's Tyler. Tyler, you got... No. Because by the time June comes around, people should have seen it. There's no excuse. Let me guess. He died. I don't know. Did he? Did he not? Dexter you Morgan, did he die? He had to put his pants you can't on. can't kill guys. the Calm title. Down. I'm sorry, was that John? Yeah, you can. I had an odd moment where you get kicked out of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no that gingers sucks. allowed. Get There's a conspiracy <laughs> against me here. Hey guys, does it look like I'm trying to push him out? Like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, all of a sudden it actually starts moving. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> the power of my tub. <laughs> No, what if I was like this and like a hand came yeah, the screen? across the screen? It just decked mm. him in the face. Whoa. The, the Google force, the Google gods just kick him out. Whoa. No, it, goes, it goes the other way, Spence. So I'd be like, bam. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> was great. I keep forgetting it's mirrored. But it would be yeah. great if there was if a hand came off screen that was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you can't. You can't kill the title character of a show and then have another season. It's just, yeah, it's obvious. Man. No, they're gonna call it. They're no. gonna call it uh, just uh, Deborah. All of a sudden. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then, <laughs> then he's going to die, or he's no, gonna get caught. Not necessarily. I I wish there was an entire episode of just Sergeant Dokes just being like, surprise, motherfucker! Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> surprise, <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> just an like hour. It an hour of dokes. Like, I, oh, God, I pay so much for that. Oh, my God. Uh, and I think there's like a 10-hour loop on YouTube on that one sentence. Yeah. Like, surprise, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, there's a 10-minute there's a loop of Oprah taking a piss. I don't know if you guys have ever Ew. seen that. Why would you really? watch that? that that's the, why would you is, this a, is this a new thing? No, it's been around forever. You guys ever seen oh. the color purple? No, see... That so there's a, there's a scene God. Oprah plays like a <laughs> like a servant woman. Have you seen it? Yeah, I just I just thought of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so Oprah, the most powerful woman in the world, taking a piss for ten minutes. <laughs> okay, guys, everyone, close out the podcast. Go watch the video for ten minutes, then come back. Okay? <laughs> Don't close out the podcast. <laughs> no, but it's all it's great too because she's like all nervous, so she's like she's standing there like this, and she's going. Uh, <laughs> She's oh. like pissing the whole time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Spence's dokes. Nice. Oh, the color purple. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of Spence, what, what have you been up to? Oh, you know, I've been surprising, motherfucker. 
He's <laughs> uh, uh, shit and birthday cakes. How the fuck do I turn this off? Uh, there we go. There Actually, um, uh, before Tyler begins, I was going to say he's about at uh, 700 subscribers there on his yeah, channel. About nine away from it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> Moving oh, on up in the not free bad. world. <laughs> Obama. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> that picture was so big. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is your backup. Mm. What have I been up to? The usual college. I've got about two more weeks of classes, then one week of finals, and then I'm done. Going home. But I'm actually uh, I'm going home next week, uh, next weekend to apply to a different college, so I'll have time to maybe record some Xbox stuff, so that'll be fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, sooner or later, you're going to have Xbox games out on your channel. Oh, how about, yeah. How about some injustice with you and Chris? How about I, I oh, could I, do that. Oh wait, wait! I should say, I should rephrase that. How about some injustice of you kicking Chris's ass and in injustice? Yeah, I, I could do that. Wow, <laughs> I'm not that bad. Yes, no, did. but I'm that good. You know, yeah. you want to play injustice? I'm that damn good. I'm kidding, Chris. I suck, but it'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I haven't even touched the game yet. Like I said, I, I have it right here. And only yeah, I can do a couple videos on that. I like how after I said the injustice thing, you were like, yeah. You should play Injustice, like we're sponsored or something like that. Yeah, Injustice. injustice. Yes, yes, play Justice. Right now, definitely, injustice. definitely, definitely, definitely Injustice. But Nether Realms, Injustice. I, I played the demo, it was seemed pretty fun. Injustice. Yeah, but the demo, uh, the demo, you don't even see half of what you can do. It's really oh, an amazing yeah. game, truly. Well, the demo, you shouldn't see half the things you can do. In I, I know, I'm just saying, like, if you think the demo was good, then you're going to love the actual game, is the point. Uh, see, I'll get bored of it, because that's uh, just how the games are Oh god, it came to a still all of a sudden. Oh god! Happening. What the hell happened? So, I know. I've been, Jesus. I've been playing Just Cause 2 all day. Have you been playing the multiplayer? Uh, oh wait, no, never mind. I, I have it for PC, but I haven't. That's what I was gonna say. Uh, they have the they have the public beta of the multiplayer going right now. Mm -hmm. Do? Yeah, so I didn't know. If why? Playing. Why haven't we played this then? My uh, I my graphics card can't really handle it, so oh, okay. it, it just chugs along at like ten frames. Yeah, a my computer can not have a PC games if it wanted to. Yeah, my computer. Is yeah, my computer shit. will I crash. Play. I can't play online with any of these guys. So. <laughs> I need another beer. Don't do anything interesting while I'm gone. You're right. sending me money. Okay, I'm gonna get naked. <laughs> Everybody do the Harlem Shake. He said. He said. He said in oh god. <laughs> Chris, you said interesting, not disgusting. Oh, so, wow. What, did, what What was that little gif? Uh, we were talking before the podcast, me, you, and uh, you being Tyler and uh, Richard here. Uh, what was the little gif that you got at the door, and why did you get it? Oh, you mean this? <gasps> what? It's, it's a dildo in a box. Why did you get that? <laughs> With a used condom. Whoa. No, it wasn't used. No, um, <laughs> it wasn't used yet. <laughs> Jeez. No, it was just, um, they got a knock at the door, uh, they were dropping off some candy, and they said, for doing a good job this year, and I guess it just means, like, for sticking out, doing your classes, and getting... <laughs> yeah. That's for not, coming not to every failing. class. Yeah. Well, I, I can't say I did as, as well as I wanted <laughs> I was to. Say. Thanks for not dropping out here. <laughs> yeah, not going thanks, to the door, you know. Thanks for keep paying us money for another <laughs> yeah. fucking semester. Here you go for filling our classes. Please <laughs> come back. <laughs> I feel I'm like not. this whole thing was just a ruse to get Dave and Richard to say out. <laughs> get out. How about you get out of here, you son of a bitch? What a boot, the Yeah. What a boot. What a boot. How about a boot? No, see, I've you decided. Canadians don't say oot or a boot. They say boot. A boot. A yeah. boot. Yeah. I'll hear myself boot. actually saying it when, uh, like, just, like, talking. Because I was listening to another podcast, and they kind of they kind of rag on the Canadian that's on there, too, about... About and <laughs> out <laughs> and stuff like that, yeah. And, and you don't actually hear it until somebody brings it in front of your face, and yeah. you're like, "Oh shit!" Well, yeah, but whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> Canadians. Whatever. Okay. If you don't like it, you can get out. Yeah, <laughs> get out. Well, get the well, fuck out. That's what it's all about. The Massachusetts accent, like like the Boston accent, like park the car. And yeah. Oh god, dude! I was watching The Departed today. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I'm not a fucking cop. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you get the fuck out, you fucking fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck out, you fucking fuck. Every, everybody now from South is a fucking queer. <laughs> I feel like I just watched that movie. Yeah. 
I'm not a fucking cop, you fucking queer. Am I in Boston? Where the hell did I go? <laughs> go Fox. I don't know. That's awesome. <laughs> Nothing beats Matt Damon in that movie. Oh my god. No, no, no the, the fucking end with Marky Mark and the booties. <laughs> and Matt Damon's just like, okay. Like, Look at yeah, bang! Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, Canada! So, Ty Tyler, were you done? Did you finish up what, uh... Sorry for interrupting, by the oh, way. Oh, no, no, I'm no, 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 I'm done. I'm yeah, just Canada. Right. It's, it's cool. <laughs> Watch out for... God, he's a dick. <laughs> Watch out for Spence, he's Canada. Canada. The raging moose, careful. Oh my god. Oh my Whoa, god. Oh my god. I've been eaten Whoa. by Canada. Whoa. Oh I, I never god. knew my flag could attack me like that. Damn it, Tyler, go change your tampon right now. I was going to say, it looks like somebody just sprayed a period all over the screen. <laughs> your period. That period like was your flag. flag. I'm a cop, damn it. Oh, he's a Canadian. Oh, oh good. Yeah. No, I'm Scott. Canada. I'm Scott the dick. <laughs> Look out for Scott, he's a dick. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Why does it all of a sudden... Our Google thing changed here. What the fuck? There we go. You were oh. on Google Effects before, yeah, so you, you were shut on Google off Effects. Your... So no, that. but then I switched it back, and I went to the... Unless I missed yeah, you have to turn it know. back on manually. Click the wrong that. preset. Yeah, I, I, that's what it is. It's your fault. You Trump know what you should you. do is you should switch it, because... Yeah, no, because it's kind of... No, because I'm first! I'm first. Then switch places. I'm Dave. I'm number I'm one. Dave. <laughs> Dave's not here, man. <laughs> he got fired. Dave, yeah. let me in. <laughs> now you guys gotta do the old switcheroo. I don't want to switch. I like this side. <laughs> God damn it! Fuck you guys. I'm switching around. All first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it's not David Cole and Rich Pollock. Rich Pollock, David Cole. Stop being number one, Davey, stupid Canadian. Well, he changed it so it would be mirrored, so it was correct before. But it Suck still would have been backwards. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I like oh, how everybody's sucks. waiting for this. We gotta wait for this. This is a turning moment. Well, here you go. Let there's there's out. mine to, uh... <laughs> 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 God damn it! It worked. Did it work? There, there you go. There you go. Yeah. What'd you say? There we go. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Better. Dave McCauley. He's not a fucking cop. Yeah. You know what? Let's all be Dave McCauley. Good call. Yeah. Why not? No, I don't <laughs> like this. I do not like this idea. <laughs> There must be only one. Wait, there is only one. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> wow! <laughs> hey, guys, I'm Chris Fernandes. I'm Chris Fernandes. Please, don't give me, I'm the fuck. Real, don't give the me real a fucking Chris... blowjob. Stop, with the, don't. With the real Chris Fernandes, please stand Christ up. Christ almighty, don't oh. give me a fucking blowjob. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, Boston Red Sox. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Chris, give us. So, what did you want to talk about? Obviously, the my name's not about Chris Martino. anymore. Hey, my name's not Chris anymore. Hey, we we didn't talk about. Ooh, look at look know. at my name. I don't oh, care. you Jack Raven. <laughs> Jack Raven. <laughs> you should be Jack Meha. We're skipping this box. This <laughs> box doesn't exist. I caught okay. that with Tom. Thank okay, you. Okay. Thank you. I, I thought I it was subtle. It. I see it. It's fucking beautiful. <laughs> 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 oh, hey, sorry to interrupt, but I was watching Ready to Rumble the other day. Yep. And there's a quote in it that I've always wanted to ask you. And he goes, Hey, man, my uncle gave up his left nut in Nam. And so uh, someone goes, Well, hey, if it's his right nut and it's his only nut, is it still his right nut? Sometimes well, if you know nut now. Yeah. They have just thrown me off. So, so well, no, <laughs> actually, actually, sorry. The only nut. What? But yeah, I mean, like the prominent like, nut. Does you... it does does it stay on its own side or does it kind oh, of? Oh yeah, it stays on its own side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it, it's it's connected to stay there. Uh, as far as I know, there's a little barrier, isn't there? Because except at the top, because there's been mm. cases where people have skipped that barrier and crossed their nuts, and they aren't able to stand up. Well, like, it's because called, it, it's it called pulls... testicular torsion. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. I know it happened to a buddy of mine in lacrosse Ouch. in high school. 
he took a shot to the junk, and now he yeah, can't have fuck. kids anymore. <laughs> uh, see, that, that's fucked. That's unfortunate. Yep. <laughs> uh, well, that's kind of a good thing, though. I mean, night. for him, you know, he, he don't have to have worry about child support or bills. He yeah, but like all kinds of nuts and be Yeah, happy. but he'll miss the miracle of having a child. Yeah, it just depends on the person whether they want a kid or not. Oh, uh, worry about the AIDS too. Forever. So with this topic, let's talk so about anyway, abortion. Chris, okay, let's go for get it. to a more kind of serious topic. As you guys know, I um, think getting kicked in the nuts is pretty serious. Yeah, I think but so. No, too. This, this is just a little <laughs> bit more serious. Um, you got if you guys know, I do live in uh, Massachusetts, as many of you guys know, and you guys all turn Which about. Which is in it's Boston. It's Boston, Boston. but I I live more. Towards near, I live near Boston, but I love uh, your hockey team. Which, yeah, <laughs> go Bruins. Uh, anywho, but no. walking hockey. Fuck the Leafs. Walking hockey. <laughs> okay, go for it. okay, uh, go. For it. Uh, if you everyone heard about uh, those two guys that did the uh, bombing during the uh, Boston Dude. Marathon, which yeah, that yeah. was the most fucked up thing that I have ever seen in like. For a while, like honestly, I it, I remember sitting at work seeing the runners, and it was such a cheery area. And then when I left work, it's saying bombing. I'm like, what the fuck? But um, I'm glad that the first us they there was two people, the two people. They were brothers. They were from uh, Russia. No, they were from from Chechnya. near Russia. Yeah, yeah, Chechnya, near Russia. Yeah, I I can't say that. Shut you gotta up. read. I'm bad at saying names. You know this. Sounds like, Sounds like you're typing. Sounds like you're typing, so we muted your name. Me. doesn't matter, so I'll say it wrong. But, but go ahead. But to finish, I'm glad they caught the second son of a bitch. I'm saying that out loud. Yes. I'm glad they caught him because actually everyone knows that the, they were brothers and the first one got killed because uh, well, during let, the shooting phase, let me pause you there. Over. So, in, in our pre Skype call that we were having, uh, I actually posted the, the Death Moore picture of the first guy. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I, I, I like seeing like dead people photos for some reason. Especially oh, when it's like, what? No, when it's like, it's like <laughs> famous killers and stuff like that, or like the Chris Farley dead pic. Fuck you. It, it, and uh, yeah, I I posted it. Dave, in you're the... not helping your case here. Yeah, you're not. You you really not. Oh, yeah, uh, if uh, it's, it's right. not making okay. it on this podcast. I, 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 I understand <laughs> when it's people pretty... need their fix of violence. I, I I understand that, and they, they like to see it. And, and, and yet they also like no, to see didn't. the great <laughs> of humanity of people coming and helping them. Because like I saw the pic of the guy in the wheel chair and holding the guy's artery and the guy with like the cowboy hat and he's holding the artery of the guy running with no legs and he's yeah. in the wheelchair. After the bomb, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It made me really sick, but I heard I, I read the story upon what, what he went through before that and then what he did to get to that moment. That guy was holding that artery and apparently had no first aid training. You know what I was thinking when I saw the death photo of the twenty six year old bomber? I was thinking, fucking America. America. Was no, thinking, yeah, but, like, like I said, that's I, that's what got me. Yeah, going. yeah, but the whole thing is, is I'm sorry, you you have to agree on the fact that he's not guilty until he's proven guilty. They he just should have killed him. Guilty yeah, until no, he goes to trial. Here's the I'm thing. just saying that. Here's the just, thing. Just, but... like you, you got to respect everything upon it, and, and yet. You know what? He could have not been a part of it, and he could have. I'm not saying I don't know. I was not a part of that. Yeah, but you what, can't prove. It's the, the whole OJ trial. When you shoot back the at thing. the police when you're firing at them, you're guilty. Yeah, but that, that's the thing because he Besides got shot. Besides the fact that they had bombs and all the weapons and such that they had before. Because wait, wait, hold on. no, but why? Why would you take a gun and shoot at the police in the first place? If yeah, exactly. If because you had no reason to. Yeah. And then he, in your he, apartment, like I said before, you had. Why a do bunch people of do drive-bys? Yeah, but like I said, but he he probably would <laughs> I think he probably would have stayed alive if his bro his brother didn't part help run. He, his brother actually ran him over. I don't know if you guys knew that. That when he his is brother, that why there's that fucking thing missing out of yes. his rib? Oh, he got thank you ran, for telling me. He got. I had no clue. Yeah, what happened is, oh my god, he escaped in the car. When he escaped, 
escaped in the car, when he got escaped in that car, he got ran over. His brother actually ran him over to escape. Are you okay with seeing death pictures? I don't want to see it, but I, you what put the, it. What the well, hell? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna I want to show you. Just because you put it on there. I... No, no. If you want to see it, I'm oh. just gonna show you what we're talking oh. about. You're Jesus Christ! Christ! You're not. You're not gonna vomit, are you? Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna you know. vomit. Dave, Simba. look at Matt. Don't look at Matt. <laughs> How the fuck does he do that? For I am the skies up That's above. What he said. Oh. Yeah, because I was wondering where the fuck did he get this huge gash from? Yeah, he because he was just shot to over. death. He was shot there, shot, shot a couple shot, times there, boom. shot in the head, and which is where all that is over. from. So that's where that came from. Okay, thank so, you for clarifying so, that. Point. So the brother ran him over after you got shot in the head. The nineteen-year-old brother. Yes, he ran over just to escape because he's he was trying to escape. I'm well, sorry, he was already the body dead, is so. dead then. You're trying yeah. to get away. He was just trying to escape, but um. I'm, but I'm glad they caught him at, alive because I thought at one point, and I'm not joking, that when they were gonna, when they shut down everywhere, he had a bomb strapped, and I thought he was gonna go, boom, like he might himself. have done it if if they, I don't but, know. But I'm glad that we have the be the greatest police force because they they got him. I'm happy. I hope they interrogate his. I thought you should have killed him. Got it over with. I because oh, now because now we gotta waste but all. But then there's but dude, no, then there's, 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 no, there's no justice for the three people that died. Exactly. No, because okay, now they gotta waste all that money for him to get fixed up in the hospital, and waste all that money on court calls, waste all that money on you know. All I am trying to say is you're believing what the media is telling you. You gotta wait until the trial <laughs> is done. I'm just saying that. Like you don't know I think he's, he's taking guilty a page until in my book he's now. proven guilty. See, but, but I just want to know why. Like, yeah, I'm that's happy what, he's caught because I don't like to yeah. fucking know. Well, this is what I said. Like, it, there's so many of these people, just everyday people, regardless of religion or what you believe, yeah. that hate the world and they want to take it out on other people. They yeah. somehow feel like they've been wronged in this life, in on this planet, so they need to hurt others. You know, and yeah. I, said, I said this to him. I said... If you're a bomb maker, you hate this world so much, you don't want to be a part of it. Take that bomb, stand in the middle of a fucking field, and blow yourself up. Like, that, that is so much better use of that person's time uh, than going and injuring people that just are living life, having such a good time in life. Have, it, it, it's sad. It's sick and it's sad. And I, I wish that guy, those two guys, would have just gone yeah, and exactly. fucking, fucking made out with each other in a field and fucking blown their fucking cocks off or something. Well, it's like just like know. myself. I have a lot of health issues going on at the moment, but I don't feel like going out bombing people or killing anybody. Yeah, exactly. I am just saying you know? they're not guilty until they're proven we're not guilty. Saying, I know. We're not saying that. Anymore, just saying. Yeah, but like, still. Just, but, saying. But, but, just, just because some asshole shot up at a cop doesn't mean that – they did a crime that they're telling them that they that we that yeah, but, they did. It just doesn't add to. Okay. It doesn't make but, them look good. It doesn't what, what add to the credibility. No. Let, but, let's not forget about what happened in Texas with the whole planet. Yeah, exactly. That has, that, that's what I was thinking too. So uh, what what is that? I just heard about that today in another podcast. There's some fucking thing that blew up. And and there was, uh, I heard about some video. I haven't of really. A girl, a girl that was told to record something from her dad, and then her eardrums blew out, and she was saying, "Just drive, just drive," or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, well, I've seen that video. Uh, but but I, what is it like? It, sorry, go ahead. Uh, they were the factory is on fire. This is before it blew up, and uh, they were just filming the fire, fire from like a good distance away, and all of a sudden it said, "Boom." Uh, and uh, it basically, like you said, blew the eardrums out, and she was just like because of the shock wave, dad. Right? huh? Because of the shock wave, yeah, yeah, and just basically pleading to her dad, get the, get out, get out, drive, 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 blah blah yeah. blah. I could only believe but, the uh, they said falling. they said it registered a two point four on the Richter scale. That's how wow. powerful that blast yeah, was. Yeah. There was one crazy explosion. So like a pretty weak earthquake, but for an yeah. explosion, that's that's fucking huge. It, it, sent, uh, it was like blocks wide, wasn't yeah, it? I mean, it it, it was, like it sent scrap metal everywhere like and flying you know, and hitting people and shit. Like, so it, is there is there anybody dead? Like, were yeah, the oh, there's a lot of people, people dead. Yeah, yeah. at least so 100 people, over a hundred people are dead right now. Yeah, and so many more are injured. It, a lot uh, of firefighters passed away trying to put the fire and all that. It's just a lot of yeah. 
See, I, I, I didn't hear about this until like six o'clock, where I just I well maybe yeah. may, maybe five thirty. I saw something yeah. about it on Twitter with the uh, the top hashtags and stuff like that, or top topics, and, and then yeah, it, another it, it, podcast was yeah. talking about it. I was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, but yeah, but the hard part about the whole thing is was happening during when they were trying to catch the second suspect. That's why. So it, it happened. It happened last night. It happened, no, it happened, happened this week. Thursday happened, night. I think Thursday. It happened towards like. Uh, it happened the same it? night. Suspect one died. So yesterday. Oh, okay. So Thursday, yeah. Yes. Oh wow. I also um, heard Obama came out and talked about the CIA and the FBI and everything well, on, on the came, Colbert part report. No, he came out and was talking about gun control because they passed another fucking bullshit thing. But, but didn't yeah. he talk about how he doesn't want to be a puppet and everything like that? Uh, he, no, he was just very angry at the current system. And he was saying, like, if we if we want to change the gun control laws, we all need to band together. And he was really pissed. Like, it yeah. was on, it was a live stream through the, uh, through the White House website. And he, you could tell he was just fucking angry. He just uh, wanted to... You could see it in his face. He just anymore. wanted to fucking explode. He was like, "I'm tired of this shit." And uh, yeah, I don't know. You, if you want to see it, go on the White House web, White House website. And I think it's like some bill that was or something that was passed about gun control, which is completely actually did not get passed. No gun control. No, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, it was just it's it's something that's going on with yeah. that they're talking about, and it's it's just another bullshit thing. Well, they tried to know. pass it, and even with 80% agreeing to pass it, it still got shot down, so there's no... As of right now, there's no law or anything right now. And isn't it fucking crazy when 85% of Americans agree with gun control, but they still can't get it passed yeah. because of these old fucks that run the country? Pretty it much. seems yeah. kind of weird. And one of the but major that's, things that's happening uh, in Canada is the pipeline, but no one knows about it. Well, so we got also other major things. Uh, well, speaking of major things, like CISPA. Major things. CISPA passed. It passed its first thing. It well, it passed the House. It yeah, still it's has to go through the Senate, Senate and yeah. it still has to be. It, yeah. Yeah, so that's a way to control us. Yeah, it's moving on to Senate now. Oh. And uh, this, is where, uh, this is where SOPA got. Uh, same time around last year. It was almost exactly a year ago. Yeah. yeah. It got to so, the Senate and then it uh, shut down. But there's not much. It's Talk really weird. It. There's not much of an outcry from the internet. No, because there was, nobody It's knows. because one thing happened. Yeah, it's it everyone thought we passed it. It's done. It's over. They're done trying to control us. No. No, that's never going to stop. But uh, I mean, they will he, never be done. Yeah. I I can agree that there needs to be some part, like some internet laws and all that going on. But yeah, but not as strict as they wanted. This, this well, is the, like this. This impedes this. This is a privacy thing. This is yeah, what they yeah. can and change. Social, social is more of a, a censorship thing, whereas yes. CISPA is actually a uh, like Spying. a Fourth Amendment problem. So I know you guys don't have. The Constitution in, in Canada, but the Fourth no. Amendment says... Please, uh, enlighten me. <laughs> we are protected from unreasonable search and seizure. Yeah. Yeah. And CISPA would give the government authority to have unreasonable search and seizure of the Internet. Without warrants or anything. Yeah. Yeah, that's Just, what I've heard. They say, hey, i got to search this. Like, well, you can't say no. So, therefore, it They're should probably be doing it already it anyway, now, right? And just not telling anybody, so there you go. Oh. Oh, it's just good. it's just oh. funny how they they always in the government they always talk about and everybody everybody talks about like uh oh you know I have the right to bear arms and oh that's a law that that's a law that's, that's what they, we founded everything upon we but then privacy it, it's another thing that was brought in and now nobody just gives a fuck about it. all the people are just like well that's another thing gun control is one thing but privacy uh, you know <laughs> let's 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 who cares well, let's well the right to bear arms is to have the right to uprise your government and that's why mm -hmm. that was in place yeah actually dave yeah. he's kind of right oh i just didn't know because I, I was i was thinking another thing because every the thing that everybody brings up is uh i have the right to bear arms do you have the right to own a nuke then 
No, well, so I, the, I know that's that's not no. what you're saying. The, the Second Amendment is destruction. The Second no. Amendment was written in basically to say that civilians should be allowed to arm themselves in case of the need to overthrow tyranny. Yeah. Because, because they knew it was going to happen. No, because because the Revolutionary War was fought mostly by farmers that had their own right. weapons. Yeah. And so they were trying to build something into the Constitution to um, protect against themselves if that ever happened again. Mm -hmm. So I think that people that quote the Second Amendment as the right to bear arms, it's a little bit out of date. Now, I personally own several guns and am against strict gun control. But I do think that that there is some regulation that should be in place. What about like, how do, how do you feel about um, the amount of bullets that can be held in a magazine? Well, I'll tell you what. I've never needed more than two shots to kill a deer. There. Yeah. See. But then again, I've never lived in an area where it's necessary to protect myself in my home. Uh, that's true. Yeah. There is different ways of seeing it depending so, on where you live. I feel that. There, there are already restrictions on shotguns. You can only have X amount of shots in a shotgun. Yeah. Um, I think that's kind of bullshit. Um, but sorry, I got a text message. Um, Fuck your phone, man. <laughs> and, I mean, there's our, there's already restrictions on what types of or what certain types of guns, how much ammo they can hold at a time. So I don't really see that big of a deal of like outlawing thirty round clips. I don't necessarily see the point because. Okay. If I recall correctly, if you have a class three um, permit, then the um, the ammo restrictions wouldn't apply to you anyway. Okay. Well, well, let's go back to the whole gun laws, right? Let's look at Mexico. It's illegal to own a gun. How many killings are done with a gun in Mexico? Uh, also, even to a better point, Japan or China. That what they're they're just, the only reason that happens is because it's so goddamn strict there. It's like basically nobody owns a gun, and yeah. that's why you hear about more knife uh, yeah. knife related violence or like yeah. bat related violence, hammers and stuff. Yeah, like and that. the police what, and it's crazy when a police shoots someone down. Yeah, in Japan. Yeah, because that's like heavy duty stuff. But, but but like you look at Mexico and it's all the drug cartel that owns the guns. And I'm sorry, but. Where do these guns come from? I'm sorry, that Fast and the Furious escapade that happened with the American government that gave all them the guns? Well, did you just, did you just quote a movie, Fast and the Furious? <laughs> no, it's actually the considered, <laughs> it's actually considered okay. the Fast and Furious escapade I, 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 or whatever I, I, okay. it's called. Like, I, I was just thinking about the movie when oh, you said well, it. Well, it's the same it's idea of like okay. the gun arms going to Mexico. And, it, it, and just accept, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Actually, there was a bunch of CIA agents that gave all these guns to drug cartels to track the guns. But then, out of nowhere, they lost the guns. Go ahead, Tyler. It, uh, a huge argument I've seen coming up because, you know, I, I'm, we all, you know, we all look at social media a lot. We, we're, we're involved with it. We look at it. We're and young lately, and proud. Well, lately, an argument I've seen circulating is... um. Going back, you remember like school shootings and whatnot. They they talked about yeah. gun control. Meanwhile, I, I saw like uh, somebody saying that um, a bombing happens, but they blame the people who bombed and not the bombs themselves. Exactly. Now, before before we get into anything, I'm not like putting a stance of my own on this. And thanks, thanks, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Matt says stating the obvious today. <laughs> but um, a hat. what I think about is though. I think that a factor is that, um, yes, the weapons involved are the are what caused it, but there's also the operator of the weapon. Now, I think that they're both just factors that that should be focused on. The fact that people can be fucked in the head and do things terrible, like shooting children or blowing up a street full of runners. You know, I mean, I just well, think that... That reminds me of an old joke. You hear the joke about the guy that stops at a farm? This in isn't Kansas? a funny matter, Matt. This is a very. It's, the joke is relevant. Guns don't kill people. All right, what's so, the joke? What's so the this joke? this guy is driving through Kansas and he's lost because Kansas is fucking nothing but fields, right? And he pulls up to this farm, and he goes up to the farmer, and he goes, he goes, uh, "Hey, I'm looking how to get to town." And he goes, you know, no, no, before before I give you directions, I want you to look out of that cornfield. And he goes, every one of those corn stalks 
six inches apart. Exactly. And every one of those rows of corn is one foot apart. Exactly. I know my phone just went off. <laughs> and he goes, but do you think they call me Jim the Farmer? Well, I, I don't know. Do they? No, they don't. And you know, on the way into town, you're going to cross a bridge. I designed that bridge, and every strut on that bridge is perfectly distant to provide the maximum amount of support with the minimum amount of material. Do you think they call me Jim the Bridge Builder? Uh, I, I don't know. Do they? No, they don't. But you suck one cock. <laughs> 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 Can't even finish right there. Just... <laughs> I don't think you even need to go any further. With that one. No, that's that's the punchline. Yeah. So the that point is... I'm trying to make is, uh... it's it's really it's a lot about perception, yeah. and that that I I own several guns, but do you think you call they call me Matt the Gun Nut? No, no. If you look at if you look at most school shootings and and all mass bombings and stuff, all that stuff was obtained legally. They went through the proper channels. Um, like for example, the for handguns, there's a nine day waiting period to get a handgun. You have to register and all that, and you're on a list. And like there's a federal list. Like so and so owns this gun. Excuse me. And most school shootings happen with legally obtained firearms. So stricter gun regulation isn't really going to stop that if people are getting these guns legally anyway. Exactly. I mean, this has happened with tragedies in the past, people going through legal means to obtain their weaponry. Yeah. So and, what... and yet they don't check to see if this person might be a fucking nutcase. They usually do, but well, you, that, you, that's you, what you will be a regular for. person and just go out and just... Oh, yeah, you should have a background. Well, that, that's check. what they want now is background checks. You I think that's have really. That. I think you can have a clean background and go out and kill somebody. You know, it's, it's, true. It's, it's true. Yeah, it's true. But it would help to prevent things. I feel yeah. at least to a degree. That's just no. my prerogative. Fuck it. I mean, we just need to. We need to. From that's this, my you know, prerogative. Oh, sorry. From, you, from you this know state. the Canadian gun laws here. I know we. Yeah. Like, we have to go through some course, I believe. Yeah, it is. And then we have to. Make sure that we're not insane. Yeah, it's right? a background check. <laughs> yeah, and then we gotta make sure we have a place. And you to... got you got a second written test. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you gotta have the second. For, written for test. every this is for every firearm that you own. And to go through this. And then we have to have a case that we put the gun in. Then we have to have another case for the ammunition. Lock up the ammunition. And yeah. then we have to have another case to lock. All both of those up, and you have and no. Well, that's not true. <laughs> you have to, you have, you have to have, you have to have another lock for every uh, for the, uh, the the trigger. You have to have a trigger lock on it. Well, and none of that stuff is necessarily required in the U.S. But I have trigger locks. I have a gun safe. Yeah. Um, all my ammo is separate from my guns. But I know people that will like sleep with a gun under their bed. Like, yeah, like, see, good. that's well, that's oh, just God. like sleeping with a knife under your bed. That's fine. It just doesn't fact, make sense. <laughs> the only reason, the only reason I know the gun laws here is because we actually we own guns. Like, not me personally, but you do. My dad. You yeah. don't say. The only person that Whoa. should sleep with a gun under their bed it, is it, James Bond. But they're not. They're they're not like guns that like. Uh, like the latest guns that would actually protect you. They're like uh, old guns. Well, like I have, I have some old guns, and I have one yeah. modern gun. I would, I would say, like I have a, uh, um, a Winchester eighteen ninety six lever action. Oh which... wait, I just noticed why you said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't say, huh? Did you, did you pick up on that? I just noticed that. <laughs> He's been periodically changing his I, name. I, I, I know, but I, I figured he was just saying it like, oh, because he thought, like, oh, Oh, maybe. you do, huh? <laughs> because I knew the gun laws. Oh, Canadians that, own guns, eh? And that would be why I wow. knew. I'm really sorry it took you so long to figure that out, eh? <laughs> Cross between I, loonies I, and a I, I know, I'm just so used to everybody having their standard names, so I don't really pay attention. All of a sudden, I was like, he's talking. What the fuck? What the oh, fuck? No. <laughs> Did you not I see when he said uh, Dave sees dead people? Bitch. No, I didn't see that one either. <laughs> he had his name as De Dave sees dead people for and like an hour. That one's got something else. What does he got now? Let's see. Motherfucker. <laughs> Dave is... <laughs> God damn it. Oh, All right. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, um, I wanted to add something Where to the Where the fuck is he going? Oh, <laughs> Um, going back to the whole uh, the whole boss thing uh. stuff. Um, 
Actually, the uh, Red Sox who played today. Mm -hmm. um, actually, since since 1912, it used to uh, the home jerseys always said uh, Red Sox, but for today, that uh, it said Boston, like what their away jersey says in Boston, and um, and they actually won four three today. And from what I heard, is um, every Red Sox player is uh signing their jersey and putting their jersey on auction to be sold. Dave, off. what are you doing down there? Or is that no, was that? Dave? Oh, a doggy. Classy. Is that a is that a corgi collie mix? It's lassie, damn it! It's not my dog. It's <laughs> lassie. I know Dave has a bunch of corgis. I didn't it's know. A miniature that. lassie, if it is. But um, yeah, I thought that was cool that they're actually just gonna sell the jersey and put it towards uh the people who are recovering right now. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Which I uh, that's cool, and then uh. Actually, Dave Ortiz <laughs> said something, and, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, I was surprised he got away with saying it, because, uh, he said, like, this is my fucking city. He said that on, uh, live TV, so it was like, well, you don't, mushroom. you don't get away with saying that stuff on live TV, you get, you get fined by the yeah. Uh, FCC. Yeah, you still get fined, but it's still gonna Same. air. The freaking yeah. FCC. Yeah, he'll, he'll probably pay for that, but who? It doesn't matter. He was, like I said, it was a strong thing. He said, like, this is my fucking, this Skater. is our fucking CD, uh, city and all that stuff. I thought that was really cool. Like, I can't remember the full quote, but I thought that was really nice. And also, uh, speaking of the Bru uh, Bruins earlier, um, Richard, did you see... Uh, the when... national anthem sung yes. in the Bruins? That, yes. that actually brought... Like almost brought a tear to my eye. Oh my god! Oh. Yeah, that oh uh, that hit me. When, because... Oh my god! <laughs> Not a fucking. <laughs> oh my god! Um, oh my god, boy! Oh, god. Boy. But no, seriously, no, when I saw great. that, that hit because I was like, "Wow!" Just shocked because the guy who normally sings it actually stopped midway and just went and let the let the fans because they were in unison. They yeah. were one. I was like, I was like, oh my god! I almost like lost it. But I thought that was awesome that you heard everyone singing the national anthem. Oh my god! No, you that felt a cool. lot of nationalism within that. Like you, you felt like a lot of pride. I think uh, heavy patriotism is, is the yeah. word that you're looking for. Patriotism. Yeah, thank you. Patriotism. Yeah, yeah that, that's. Sorry, can they, you know Canadians don't. Know anything about people. A whole lot of people. Yeah, we, we have none. We have zero. No, yeah, we, we have zero. We, none of us sang the national anthem. We just yeah, have pride. It puts the yeah. unity in community. We, we didn't sing the national anthem in school. We yeah, just sat exactly. there and just listened to it. Yeah, we did. Sure, we did. We're young. No, you sang your it, national it, anthem. No, no, we would. I would listen. You didn't sing your oh, national anthem. Yeah. Oh, Canada. Yeah. Oh, Canada <laughs> oh, <laughs> whatever the rest of it was true. Yeah, I know it as far as home and native land. That's it. True patriot love and all our sons command. See, With patriot is in their fucking national anthem. The rise but they don't true, they don't true, true not strong and the from far and wide, oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. I'm trying to God ask. keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Wow. I'm sorry, but you still <laughs> kept your hat on when you sang it. I know I'm an ignorant Canadian. <laughs> Dave, you are you are so disrespectful to your country. <laughs> oh, I need to, I need to slap myself in the face. No, no, he had it. Oh. He had it. Oh. And, and oh. what you saw was what I would be doing in school. <laughs> See, we had to when I was in second grade, we had to sing "My Country Tis of Thee," which oh. is actually the um, English national anthem. Uh, it's to the tune of the English national anthem with a different, uh, different uh, play 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 lyrics. Play. Yeah, play. yeah. So it's like you know, my country, tis of the sweet, sweet land of liberty, 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 liberty of the. Yeah. yeah, but then the English national anthem is like, God save the queen. <laughs> it's I just can't believe that we plagiarized that shit. <laughs>
Well, can... we have our other anthem, America, fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck <laughs> yeah, America. <laughs> so have y'all seen this new fad on YouTube where people are taking condoms? Oh, and condoms? I knew what? that was coming. Oh, I, I don't really think I just it's got a, a, I just got a <laughs> message about that, and I had to bring that up. So. Okay. What about condoms? Oh, go ahead. What? You need one? Oh, yeah, please. <laughs> what, a condom? Just yeah, I, I need oh. a he, he was a, He needs to get a condom from the fridge. I need a condom. But I don't think it's a fad. I think one... Uh, I think the whole conversation is is that one girl did it, became super popular. No, hang on. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, so I'm with him. What the so, fuck are okay, you talking so about? So this is a big thing. This 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 one internet video, this girl goes, This is a condom. Okay. And she takes it out, unrolls it, and goes, puts it in her nose, snorts it up, and goes <clears throat> and then pulls it out of her mouth and she goes, Oh my god, that was so weird. That's so weird. And that's what the, the end of the fuck? video. So she snorts it, pulls that out of her mouth. People and that's have it. done that with with noodles. Yeah, for the noodle, longest time. noodles, fucking snakes and stuff like that. So snakes. I did that with soda. Yeah, people for you Americans. With snakes. Yeah. Soda. Um, pop. I say pop, motherfucker. Pop. So this I is say the, cola. This pop. Is the pop. Is, um, the discussion that's been coming up is like, wh- how far will people go to become YouTube famous? Because this is actually pretty dangerous. Dangerous if you think yeah, about it. Yeah, it is. Especially a yeah, it it's like, like sucking that, uh, something and pulling it back up. Yeah, it, it's it, like that uh, one girl who ate that tampon. That's not dangerous. <laughs> cinnamon <laughs> challenge is healthy for you. Yeah, it, it's uh, recommended that Chris, you take a, a small teaspoon of cinnamon every day. Well, you know what's Chris, really funny? You better dance when you come back. Um, a long time ago, Steve Harvey had a TV show on the WB, and it was like, like what I would do to be on television. I remember that. <laughs> and uh, I like how he knows what we were talking. We were just looking at there. And he was just like, <laughs> "What?" We were just. I, I pointed at your 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 lower third, and I was like, "Oh, look, Richard." <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's gonna change. This is gonna be my new thing. I'm gonna. Know. I'm gonna do this. Every you need podcast. to be around more often. That's the thing. Yeah. Next week. Next week, Matub is absentee. <laughs> Yay! But uh, As no, so so this Peter Coffin guy, he's <laughs> he's used to be semi YouTube famous, not really so much anymore. I, yeah, I after that one incident. About, yeah, yeah, after that one incident. Um, but way back when that uh, Steve Harvey show first started, he put up a video of him kicking himself in the junk, <laughs> and it got him on TV. And Steve Harvey's like, "This is the this is the standard. This is what it takes. What this will you do why to, be it takes to get on there?" Yeah, but yeah, but you go on YouTube and you see a bunch of weird stuff. Girls eating tampons, stuff with condoms up their nose, and it's like what, like Dave said, what will you do to get popular on YouTube? Stream like Chris is doing bitch. the fandango, and it's yeah. it's not even that. It, it's like how far will you go to get YouTube famous, and how far will you go to ruin your reputation for the rest of your life? Exactly. Because people are gonna in that generation are gonna look yeah. back and be like, "You're the fucking condom snorting chick." Yeah, you know, like, you're gonna be sixty years old. But and... the the tampon eating was fake, by the way. Yeah, I know that was fake. Yeah. She came out, that so was fake. Yeah, but still, how far are you willing to go? And it, like I said, the other discussion was it, it's so dangerous what people are willing to do. Like even yeah, that, so... even even that fucking guy that he has a whole YouTube channel based. Based off of oh, um, hitting Shoe himself nice. in the fucking oh that guy Shoe and also nice. hitting this guy has a whole YouTube channel based on ki- hitting himself in the nuts in different ways. You can no, die from about, getting hit in the nuts too hard. What about Shoe Nice, that guy who like eats Shoe everything? Nice, yeah. he, he takes like like caulking, like window caulking, and just like caulking. <laughs> he takes fucking window caulking and swallows it down his fucking throat. Yeah, no, but I've seen him. He <laughs> ate a fucking deodorant stick. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Yeah, deodorant stick. Like, he's so. Oh my god, he's so crazy. You know, funny story about cock. Oh my god. I whipped one out. So so silicone sealant, silicone and, based. And uh, PSA, PSA. Just so you guys know, Matt will not snort a condom for views. Yeah, he yeah. will not snort a condom. Totally. Or eat, or eat a condom. He might you suck know. it. God. So <laughs> most. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, Chris, what the fuck? Okay, Chris. Mm-hmm. It's been happening for a while. You might as well just sit down. Chris, we give it up, man. Dancing. Sit the fuck down. All right, go ahead, Matt. <laughs> um. So anyway. Sorry, I was doing my fandango. Most of the Mufasa, why? 
<laughs> I was dingling myself. I'm sorry. Most Why of the people, are you playing with yourself? Most of the people you that I work dingle with. dingle yourself later. That's, that's gross, dude. But most that's of the people that I work with Tyler, uh, uh, speak English as a second language. And uh, there's this uh, girl from Greece that I work with, and she had just ordered this table. And you had to put the table together, and the tabletop was chemical resistant, and you had to actually uh, use... It came with caulk to put the table together. And she's like, how do you attach the table to the tabletop? And I was like, oh, you got to use this caulk. And she goes, caulk? what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this, this caulk that's in my this hand. Caulk. <laughs> she goes, what the hell? I was like, a silicone-based sealant? She yes. goes, oh, why can't you say that? I was like, because it's cock. Because it's cocking. Yeah, and I'm cock. like, you said, C-A-U-L-K. Cock. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go I'm talking about my dick. <laughs> I'm not a cock. That there reminds that, that, me. There's a new word for it, cocking. People are so cocking. stupid, though. That, like, oh, my God. That reminds me when I was in elementary school. I don't know if you remember this, Dave, the uh, music teacher that we had. And she would always be like, you got to put the lubricant on the cock. But she's actually trying to say cork, yeah. right? I remember that. Oh, oh, was that like, I remember that. Was that like a music class? Yes. What? No money. <laughs> what? Yeah. No money is. There was, there was oh, one point man. where uh, what Terry, the cock? He, you remember how they had the stands, the risers, the wooden yeah. risers? Huh. You, know how, you know how there was the, the edge right near the exit? There. Yeah, yeah. So Terry was sitting there. Oh yeah, I totally remember that. I was there. I know. Fuck, man. Yeah. No, you <laughs> all were there. So, so that Terry was sitting there on the, those shitty chairs that we had, and she said that, laughed so hard that he fell off the fucking thing. <laughs> and it, she was like, "You go to the office." And he's go like, "Go to the office." He's like, "I didn't. I didn't do it on purpose to be a jackass or anything like that. I just fell off because." I was laughing. He's like, you go! And then one of the girls defended him. And was like, no, he didn't. He's like, you go too! And yeah. it was like five, Yo, six, that, that seven was the day people she said, that were like, like, the whole class? Yeah, go it's... to the office. You go to the office. You go to the office. Because everybody Damn. was defending him. Was <laughs> and you go to the office. Yeah. And you That's go to the office. <laughs> you go to the office. And you everybody go to the goes office. to the office. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know if you were around at my elementary school before, but we had this. I was team. always there, bro. Always there since kindergarten? I was there since grade one, bro. Oh, fuck. Man, my, my I went to Sage Norton, there. bro, from yeah. kindergarten. Bro. Okay, so I remember we had this music teacher, I think, in grade three and two. Was it the man? The man. Yeah. And he had a puppet? Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. And he would actually have a puppet, and you'd have his hand up the puppet's ass, and he'd talk to you mm -hmm. and shit. Touch me once. Yeah, I bet he did. <laughs> I remember he would always be Mr. like... Mr. Kerr. Mr. Kerr, right? Okay, th this is what he would do. He'd be like... Did he touch you in the so perfect places? how are you today? What's going on? And, and it, it was the creepiest fucking yeah, thing. Is Mr. Kerr or Mr. Mr. Kern? Kerr? I don't know, but he, I just remember yeah. he had a puppet, and it reminded me of like the South Park. Well, that was like fucking Mr. Sanders. Remember yeah. in high school? He would come up... Oh, yeah, totally. You guys remember that time? I know, man. School? Yeah, fuck. He when had the we worst were... breath, and he'd go, Hey there, Richard. And he'd be, oh, and you'd be like, what are you, how is toast this motherfucker? No, the, be the best is all the alcoholic elementary teachers that were just... Uh, the art teacher, the art teacher, grade nine. Did you, did you remember LSD that? LSD trips no. all the time? No, no, he had he was jerking off to porn and drinking oh, vodka God. in class. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> That reminds me of... Our uh, high school was so good, guys. We had a, <laughs> the we had best a, high school ever. We had a substitute teacher named Mr. Stewart who looked <laughs> exactly... Hey. Like, he looked exactly like Albert Einstein. Like, oh, that's crazy awesome. hair and everything, right? But he always smelled like shit and wore the Mr. same Stewart. sweater vest every day. Mr. Sanders' brother. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Stewart always had a Coke bottle that was, like, oddly lightly colored. <laughs> mm. And Tyler like, likes cock. Spence is a cock. So, uh, um, which hey, that reminds me of another joke. Uh, <laughs> so, Mr. Stewart, wait a minute. Turns out was drinking a Coke bottle full of rum while he was substitute teaching. 
Oh, that's awesome. And would, Dude, if I was a substitute teacher, I'd be fucking drinking on the job too, man. I don't would, give a fuck. He would just get obliterated, and then he would give lectures on why he purposely looks like Albert Einstein. <laughs> hey, uh, I, I, do the same I thing. had a grade 7 teacher pass out right after lunch because he had a bottle of Jack Who? on the table, and, and we couldn't go into the room the rest of the year. Who? Oh fuck! What, what was his name? The the woodshop teacher. What's his name? Uh, Grade seven. Yeah, Mr. Moore. Yeah, Mr. Moore. He was my homeroom teacher. <laughs> when? In grade seven. Grade seven. Yeah, he. We had to go to the library, didn't we? I don't remember this. <laughs> he was my he was my teacher all through the year. You think he would have quit, lost no, his job? And, and he'd fucking... always be like. You are confused. <laughs> no, he'd throw chalk at kids. Yeah, he'd throw chalk. You'd smash a ruler. A ruler rulers and would break, break and yeah. shit. It was like... Yeah, no. He fucking full out screamed Dude. at me one time because I was using um, a table saw, one of those little shitty dinky ones, and I was cutting plastic. And for a second, I looked over at my friend and said, yeah, man. And he fucking looked at me and went, you look at that table all times. They scream. I I, I I cry. I'm not gonna lie. So I cry. why are you looking back fondly on this guy? Because I, I'm not looking back like you. He's I, an alcoholic like me. This this is news to me because I had never heard that. So oh, you I fucking guess he must guys, have been man. sick that day, but we had to go to the library and he we sat. He lost in, his job though, right? I, I don't know, but but he he totally this, would have lost. This he, he got sent home, but he had the jack right on the table. Because I remember Spence I walked go. in, I looked at it, and I was I like, oh. There he is. No, that's his shelf. It's, he's a table. He's a table. Oh, he was... He was. Look at the it. table! Um, but there, there was a... Do you guys uh, know the Canadian singer? Probably not, you know, because it's Canadian. Anne Robin Marie? Sparkles? No, Anne Murray. Anne Murray? Anne Murray. Yeah. yeah. We are, her brother was our science... Teacher. No, he was my homeroom our, teacher for grade eight. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was the main science teacher in uh, our grade school. There, there has to be cool. a video of him somewhere playing a guitar there and is. singing. Yeah, there somewhere. is. It's on YouTube. It's on oh, YouTube. Um, yeah. Speaking of that, I had a, find that one day. I think Bill, great, Bill Murray. Bill Murray. Bill. I think uh, I was in my ninth or tenth grade teacher who was this funny odd science teacher. We always knew she always like. You know those people who take their hair and sometimes chew on it Eat for it? some yeah. reason, just for weird. But or while pull it out like trichotillomania. Why you like to pull it out? Yeah, but same she, reason why I drop it out and start wrapping it. <laughs> she, she she was always sitting there just eating her hair, and come to find out, she used to dip her hair into. Uh, <laughs> Matt, you son of a bitch. You asshole! <laughs> you um, um, well, yeah. Hold on, hold on, let me finish. But we came oh, to find out she used to dip her hair into Jack Daniels all the time and then chew on her hair and then she sounded like, so... How the fuck do you get that? drunk off that shit, though? I don't know. Cause cause she, like, she, I guess she, if you were like 110 pounds or something like that, but... She, she would okay, always be I sitting there that. eating her... Chris chewing on her hair. Like, <laughs> so, she, so she would dip her hair into, like, vodka or something yeah. and suck it out? Yeah. Damn, I, I wish so, I had long hair. It was Jack hair. Daniels. It was Jack Daniels. No, but so. you guys... Did you guys hear what's been happening over the Shut last couple of years? I'm going to tell them. We'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pour, pouring booze into your asshole or something? Yes. Yeah, man. My, my name That's fucked. From, that's from Jackass, isn't it? Isn't it? No, no, it, no, but it, it gets you, Apparently, it just gets you fucking drunk because yeah. it goes it goes directly it into, goes your, right. into your blood. Yeah, uh, before Jackass did it, there were kids that would take tampons yeah. and dip Stick them in, in vodka. Your ass and uh, let, it, let it, like, soak dude. up. Yeah, that's I fucked, heard dude. of that. Yeah, it's some of our idiots. Things. You, you just destroy yourself by doing that. Like, no, I want to see what he's going to say next. I know. Here we go. He's already... <laughs> Everybody's just looking down, like Jesus. No, 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 but tampons are cherry flavor. <laughs> Fuck. That's really popping the cherry. Wow. So Emmett, Emmett in the chat says, obviously Emmett. You know, we know Emmett. He yeah. said uh, we had a teacher like that too, except he would lean in. Uh, we smelt his bad breath. We were talking about Mr. Sanders and his. Hey. Ah, oh, that's just... Oh, oh, Mr. Mr. Dickens? 
he is an alcoholic too. Mr. Dick. See, I know that name. I just can't remember the face. Hot. No, Dick. but he you know he was an alcoholic. Always sipping remember a flask Mr. when everyone Mr. went, Dickie, went off. Mr. Dickie, Dickie. Was it Dickie? Dickie. Or Dickie? It was Mr. Dickie. Dickie. Yeah. See, I didn't have him, but I just knew. I that didn't he have. Was an I, I never. I didn't have an. He he, he would <laughs> sipping on the uh, flask every time every kid went on. Sip, the sipping on that scissor. Yeah. I can't think of anything yet. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh my zero. goddamn teachers. Uh. <laughs> See, I didn't have, I didn't have any like teachers that ate their own hair dipped in vodka. There we go. Because you didn't have any if, teacher if you that want, cared. If you want good teachers, go to Michigan. There you go. Yeah. See, there you go. There you I, go. I mean, I went to the same high school as Michael Moore. Oh, right. Damn. So how he turned out. He's good. He's, I love that guy. He's I hate that guy. He's a douche. Yeah, well, he is. You know what? You're on the call. <laughs> Fuck you. Here we no, go. No, like, like, well, I'm getting kicked out. Like, whether or not you... I, I personally I'm being very think, judgmental here. Fuck you. <laughs> I personally think that even though he's like, oh my god, capitalist corporations, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, and then he makes sensationalist movies just to make money. I know. Yeah. There's... Uh, I also, he's a douche. That. If you've ever met him, he's a... He's a douche. Raging bag of douche. J just like Larry King. Is Larry King a douche? Oh, that dude's like a hundred. Oh, like Tyler Spence. Oh, wait. I think he try to be a douche and just fail at it because he's Kent. so old. Yeah, but Kent, is it physically possible to be a douche when you are literally a rotting corpse? That's well, what if I you're mad, cleaning yeah. a vagina, maybe. And he's got, uh, he's got this. The cards like, against white humanity white cards. Cakes. The shambling corpse of Larry King. <laughs> <laughs> what the shit, fuck? Larry King. Tyler, Tyler, do you have any? High school stories, uh, school stories about teachers that are just really <laughs> fucked up. What ain't the age of Larry King? Uh, uh, <laughs> high school stories. Well, just like te like, like what we've been talking about, like te bad teacher stories, like an alcoholic teacher, teacher or something like that. Tyler, oh, we can't hear you, Tyler. It sounds You're like muted. your thing's fucked up. <laughs> now, here, try talking. Hello. There you go. Okay, well, there is one story that comes to mind. Um, I didn't have this teacher, so I didn't really know them too well. But I, I had known, like, I had seen the teacher. That's not what was happening. You misunderstood me. You're, you <laughs> saw the teacher naked? Jerks off no, his mind. <laughs> no, listen. It's funny Rich says that. It's part of the story. Um, it wasn't me, but it was like a lot of people did. Apparently they uh wait they... wait 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 you had a teacher who no. let kids grab him off. No. <laughs> Rich, where the fuck did you get that? From? I, I don't know. Where did the story go? I mean, this is okay. just because he is in my household. Let, let me I tell cannot... the story short here. <laughs> okay, they found photos on the teacher's computer, and you know they were nude pics. And Rich and Dave are friends, friends. But uh, yeah, because of that, um, what? Apparently, it's so <laughs> bro. Apparently it's uh, a <laughs> like to uh, go to the teacher's computer when they're up like getting coffee or something or they're off to the bathroom and they'll check the computer or they'll try to hack it or something. Right. And they looked a little too far, I guess, because they found nudies. So I actually had a teacher that had nudies, nudies his on his uh, computer and we ended up finding it. Wait, nudes of themselves? No. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, okay. news of herself? so this was a female. What, what are you talking about? Uh, the, the same shopping? drunken alcoholic wood shop teacher that Mr. had Moore. that had a uh, porn on his computer, and then there's another There's another kid in our grade that ended up putting a magnet onto his computer, and we all know what a magnet will do to your computer. No, mm. Rich, tell us. Yeah, please show us, Matub. Well, I know, I know. If you put a magnet on a hard drive, it erases it. Yeah. So, so he erased it, but like the one day we went through his like computer and we found like he was going through porn and shit. And we're like, he's got this little room that he hangs out oh, in. Was you fuckers that did that? You ruined our. Honestly, you 
ruined I our, didn't ruin it. I don't I care. Didn't put the menu I don't, there. I don't give a shit who did it. You ruined our I'll fucking. You, okay. you ruined no, our saves to the Incredible Machine. You ruined, Brad. you ruined our saves to the Incredible Machine. You ruined our saves to the Incredible Machine. I don't give a shit. You ruined our saves to the Incredible Machine because that one Macintosh, <laughs> that one Mac had <laughs> had all the saves of the Incredible Machine as far as we were. It all was a man named Brad. I don't give a shit about that. Brad can go fucking die in a hole for all I care about. <laughs> He ruined my save. You ruined our saves of the incredible machine. We were all pretty. It was a man blonde. named Brad. He's a man now named Brad. Because I remember that. I remember that shit. You guys are fucking. See, crazy. I don't remember. I, I think that's a. I think that's a thing that people just assume there was porn or something. No, no, no. He, I think they, I, I saw it. Anybody could. Have gone on and searched the history and gone. It, it was his computer. <laughs> when, he, when, when, when he came into that computer. little computer lab, he was like, "Get off my computer! I need to mark stuff." <laughs> yeah, it was the marking computer. But anybody, it was like, "I need five minutes on, like, here." <laughs> Give me five minutes. <laughs> Is that why he would always be in that room? I didn't born. <laughs> it was him. Alone. It was him. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, I'm gonna be obvious here. Look at Matt. I saw it, but I don't give a shit. Oh, Ruined see. our fucking incredible so machine. Was, so it was Dave saves. who did that. Yeah, apparently it was me. Not Mr. Moore. You got real only, excited there, Dave, when I you found out. I don't even think it was Mr. Moore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I was passionate about that game because it was like me and six other people that would play the game. He was very fucking passionate. <laughs> what about oh, the incredible? I'm not laughing at you. No, I don't get it. The incredible shit. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I, mean, I get the thing. He erased my porn, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're incredible, incredible machine. machine. <laughs> Dave's it incredible was... machine. It's the game, for God's sakes. Come on. Uh, That's what you want to call it, Dave. <laughs> GOD.com. You can buy it. Sponsor. <laughs> we love you guys. Quick <laughs> Um, yes, fuck um, up. Run the show. I don't care. Fuck you. Okay, <laughs> I'm going. So, we're, we're kicking Dave off. Dave's incredible fuck machine. I would. If you want to, uh, if you want to be monetarily compensated, you could always check out Davis and State Bank. <laughs> DaveMcCauley.com. Oh wait, that joke's done. Yeah, for more should, updates, I, go to DaveMcCauley.com. Slash incredible know. machine. Yeah, uh, the, I, I just thought about. I'm just gonna like during one of the podcasts when we bring it up, just redirect them somewhere horrible. Google <laughs> <laughs> Redirect it just to a horrible, horrible website. Meatspin.org. Like, yeah, like what? Yeah, Meatspin. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, man? We should we should make a website for Dave's incredible machine. Yeah. You guys pay for it. Go for it. You know what? Though? That goes that goes full circle because you know your Uniball could be your incredible machine. <laughs> My unicorn man. Where'd Rich go? Bathroom. Is he erasing your porn? <laughs> My porn's all in this room. There's you no way. <laughs> I, I have another good website to go along with Dave's uh, Dave's incredible. Tyler, your your microphone. We're starting to hear white noise when you're talking. There we go. Go for I it. I have to replace the fucking thing soon. Yeah. But um. Well, are you still using a rock band mic? Yeah, it's man. The same one I've been using forever. <laughs> Rocking it out. <laughs> oh, I what am I supposed to? Use? Long time. Please g give yeah. me a good microphone to use, Matt. Blue Yeti. Blue Yeti. Yeah, definitely. Well, those if you can't afford that, of shit. Snowball. Snowballs uh, are good. I, yeah, I, I just use a Turtle you. Beach. I mean, yeah, Turtle Beach. I don't it, think those are compatible with what I use. With a Mac. I don't think they're compatible. No, dude, the Turtle Beach just uses like a microphone input. It doesn't use. Yeah. It uses USB to power it, but then it just plugs in with a mic input. Oh, uh, Rich, to, Richard, Rich is using a Turtle Beach right I'm now. I'm 
He's in Turtle Beaches yeah. right now. I'll have to look for good uh, microphone prices on uh, mattsgreatbackpack.com. <laughs> Dude, actually, you know what? That would be an awesome shopping website. Like, if yeah. I got a room. Like, you look at I got a room price, full of Matt's great back. <laughs> Just my tub's back room. No, but no, but seriously, like think about it. It could be like Woot, like a deal a day website. Be like Matub's great backpack. Like, what's in Matub's backpack today? Your slogan is Romney had binders full of women. I've got a backpack full of deals. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! What is wrong with us tonight, guys? What is wrong? Not a damn thing. Yeah, I know. Backpack full of dreams. <laughs> Imagination. <laughs> So, I guess it, we've come to the game portion. What has everybody been playing? Just Cause 2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is Simple, easy answer. Anything this, this year? Anything this year? That's what my friends would say when uh, I'd be telling them what I'm playing. They'd be like, anything this year? Anything new? Oh, <laughs> I just... Justice Gods Among Us. I just downloaded some game on my phone. Uh, Candy Crush? You guys ever play that? No. I see things on Facebook. Uh, I don't. All the time. I don't own an Android. I don't even own a phone. Well, there's a there's a Facebook version of it. It's basically Bejeweled, but it's like an adventure. Oh, okay. So Wasn't like you, Bejeweled adventure to begin with? Was no, but like so you play different different. Uh, it's, I'm typing, so they muted me. What the fuck? But um. You play like different types of levels, so there's like you have to get rid of all these squares, or like you have to get these down to the bottom, stuff like that. So there's like objectives. It's pretty fun. <sighs> Highly suggest it. But hello, Dave. We're all good. Dave. Guys, go to the YouTube app. What the fuck? Nothing. Now listen. Now you're letting you go. Yeah, just keep talking. <laughs> Wait, well, oh, God, I clicked dude. myself. Oh shit. <laughs> oh God, no, I don't want to look that. at myself. How can you guys stand there? There is nothing me? here. It's all right. There is nothing behind the curtain. Just think of it this way. This was six years ago. No one was here. Just <laughs> leave. Are you guys talking about the backpack? No. No. Maybe. No. Nope. What? what? What backpack? I don't know what you're talking about. So anyway, there I was, ankles deep in these Asian twins. <laughs> how I got my I stuck in. my head right in there, and I didn't know how to get it out. I said ankles deep, you dumb ankles Canadian. Slow. <laughs> you're going the wrong way. <laughs> no, you got your head in there. This is not your ankle. <laughs> oh, Rich. <laughs> but, but but if you're ankle dun, deep, dun, dun, your head starts up here. <laughs> you went in. And or you can start from the other end. Well, why would you do that? What, what front of that? Because it's like fisting with your feet. It's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fisting. 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 Fisting with a foot. Yeah. But that. What, what fun is that? Curl up your toes and you just go in deep. But, but wouldn't it be better if your head went in there no, first? No, and then no, you try like, to get in there. Sure, Unless you, you can, shave your head. Uh, and then next sure thing we you know, the, the body bottom. has just been forced yourself within it. <clears throat> what am I talking about? That's what like, the fuck are you know. talking about? Have you guys ever read American <laughs> Gods? No. It's a pretty good book. It's written by Neil Gaiman. He writes <laughs> comic books. Um, but there's this one lady that when she's having sex with a dude, she will actually envelop his entire body in her vagine. Uh. Oh my God. And then, like, absorb him, and then she becomes younger. Succubus. Sounds like yeah, she's exactly. a succubus. She's a succubus, and she uses her vagina. Jesus, that's Christ. a succubus. And so oh she. God, Joan Rivers has been alive so long. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually, Joan Rivers, the way she works is when she absorbs someone, she gets a facelift. Yeah, okay. she's like. Oh! <laughs> okay, anyone in the chat? Sound like this. Right after this podcast, please check out. Pig Destroyer. Oh, Piss I... Angel. Please. What? Please. What about Chris Angel? No, no, not Chris Angel. <laughs> Angel. Piss Angel. What about Chris Angel? What Piss about Angel. Chris I am the mind freak. Mind freak! <laughs> just, just check out Pig Destroyer, Piss Angel, and listen to the whole song. There's some, like, crazy shit about a succubus, and it's fucked. Remember, so, guys, hey. here's a spoiler to Bioshock Infinite. No! Uh, Stop the, it! 
the fucking the, uh, the, the uh, big daddy uh, comes back and uh, fucking gives you a massive blowjob. You come into his cage and you suffocate him until he dies. Matt, I haven't beaten him here. It's all right. <laughs> I not, beat it, but I won't tell you because I'm, I'm nice. I am 90 minutes into it, so. I want back back. <laughs> I'm on my second playthrough, and I won't tell you guys, Shut but it's fun. Up. Okay. But fuck the filler. So I got the story that I wanted to talk about. We'll talk about it, Dave. Is it E3? No. Uh, well, you know, there is E3 in the chat. People have been... Uh, uh, Xbox Gamer 7708 has been wanting us to talk about E3, but there's been no, like, E3 news. I, I don't know. Yeah. But I didn't want to talk about that. I want to talk about this other story. Coming out of Sweden, um, there's been fashion models that have been going to eating disorder clinics to get potentially new models. What? That, that's the entire story, basically. How fucked up is that? Yeah, tell me about it. Because <laughs> the image in Sweden is to have the, uh, <clears throat> the legs where the thighs don't touch standing straight up. Like if you stand, if you stand up and you put your legs together so or try to. So you just to. fucking bones. Yeah. So it's just straight No, like, literally, your fucking bones. Yeah. That's yeah. nasty. That, that, how immoral is that, too? Going to an eating disorder clinic to be like, hey, you want to be a model? Right when they walk out. And at one point, there was a, a, a report where uh, one girl was uh, had to be brought out on a wheelchair because she, well, had, the, she had no strength to actually stand up on her own will. And the guy was there to be like, hey, you want to you wanna be a model? You want to... Oh, yeah, okay, let's wheel her down the fucking runway. Let's do that. I don't know how you guys feel about this. Oh, it, it is the whole oh, model thing is so fucking stupid. I don't give a fuck. Okay. I love hey. how even plus-size models are kind of skinny. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, like, 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 it is just as bad as going to an abortion clinic trying to find a girl who put it. Well, obviously they do. Well, Gee, yeah. Shit. <laughs> That's why you'd be there. But. That's why Jay and Silent Bob were there in Dogma. They're trying to meet loose women. <laughs> but, like, plus-size models, that, that, that whole concept is fucking insane. Like, oh, you're a plus-size a plus model? Really? These girls? And what's no, funny is... No, the is, whole idea is wait, models what? are just fucking a stupid well, idea. Plus-size uh, models, yeah, plus yeah. models are still not that big. They're usually, like, a size 8. Yeah. Which... Like, my girlfriend's fairly skinny, and she's between a 6 and an 8. Oh, here we go, here we go, Mr. <laughs> Sir Bragg's lot. <laughs> okay, hey, Matt, it's what been was your two big surprise fucking anyway? hours, and I'm I haven't... I'm kidding! <laughs> Matt, Matt, yeah? what was your big surprise for Valentine's Day that you couldn't tell us about? Oh, yeah! yeah! We've been waiting for that! Waiting for you! I was listening to the podcast, and I heard this. What the fuck was it? I forgot. God yeah, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I remember. Get out. I remember. Not important. Get out. <laughs> you don't even know what you do for your girlfriend? <laughs> and you sit there and you talk know. about her? Come on. Okay, okay. Too drunk. have you guys seen how many beers I've had? I'm quite drunk. <laughs> no, I haven't. No, but what did you do? Um, So, I surprised her. I said, so she bought this, like, little black dress a couple weeks beforehand. And so I told her, I was like, you need to get your little black dress. Right. And you need to get your little behind here. What? No, I, no, it's okay. I had to mute the mic and tell him something. Just, what? <laughs> Ooh. I said, no, I said, if you smell farts, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, I unmute the mic and he goes, I smell farts. <laughs> go, go on, man. Go on. Yeah, go ahead. Hang on. So... Oh, he's saying, God damn it. <laughs> I, fuck, I'm not even going to talk. <laughs> Tootie toots. <laughs> so, uh, I would have thought you said tootie fruity. I'm surprised tootie nobody's played the fart sound effect. No, it, I I can't find the sound effect. Me either. The There's chat. no fucking I'm chat I'm... for it. You know what? Fuck you guys. I'm doing it. So, um, <laughs> so anywho, um, I got I got tickets to the, the uh, South Bend Symphony. So the the South Bend Symphonic Orchestra in That's South awesome. Bend, Indiana. Which, for you Canadians, that's where uh, Notre Dame is. I'm sure you guys yep. have heard of Notre Dame. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Okay. So we went down there, and we had dinner at, like, this five-star restaurant. And uh, 
because we got there like five o'clock, and apparently five star restaurant people don't eat dinner until like nine. We had the whole fucking restaurant to ourselves. It was like some breakfast at Tiffany's level shit. <laughs> and uh, the food was actually really good. Everything was like Cajun and blackened. It was delicious. So then after that, we went to the um, we went to the symphony, and it was a Valentine's with Gershwin. Gershwin's a uh, famous U.S. composer. Oh. Um, Mufasa, what you doing? Nothing. Quit being creepy. Creep. Yeah, there's no fart sound effect anymore. Because, you know, we shouldn't talk about farts on TV or anything else. That Fucking I've... FCC. Totally <laughs> TV. Yeah. Well, so, uh, so we went to the, the symphony, and there was a surprise. Um, what is the... Talk. I'm trying to remember the name of the song. I think it's... Is it Rhapsody in Blue? The famous Gershwin song? I do not know. Yes, Ra- Rhapsody in Blue. It's a very, very difficult piano piece. And, like, right before intermission, the fucking mayor of South Bend walks out. Like, South Bend's a pretty big city, and so the mayor's kind of a big deal. It's, it's, uh, I, I don't know, it's probably got the entire population of Saskatoon. What? Dave, what you doing? I mentioned Canada, Dave. Oh, sorry. No, I was listening. Just keep going. Go yeah, ahead. yeah. Don't, just, don't worry just about because what I'm you doing. mentioned about Canada, Canada, we didn't care about it. Yeah, keep going. Oh, fuck. Well, we nobody listen. cares about Saskatchewan. Yeah, Saskatchewan. <laughs> exactly. Listen to the name. It's just part of the plains. We don't. We, so um, we, we, so, we plain right over it. So <laughs> nice. So the mayor of South Bend comes out and he sits down at the piano and just like from memory, no sheet music or anything, rocks the shit out of Rhapsody in Blue, which is like this wicked long, super complicated piano piece. And it, it was awesome. I had a great time. Um, and then we, beautiful. we drove home and I got out. It's and dirty. It. it got greasy. No, no. You're not supposed to say it that dirty way. You're supposed to say, <laughs> I made some love. Uh, I had my fair share of fun. Yeah, he gave her the foot. <laughs> the foot. And then the fist. No, he went ankle deep. <laughs> ankle deep. Head he first. Got, he got him some sugar walls. That's what he's trying to say. <laughs> Dude, I haven't heard the term sugar walls in so long. That's why we call him Grandpa <laughs> Grandpa himself. <laughs> Oh, man. You guys ever uh, heard the song Alcohol, My Only Friend? No, oh, but I heard it. I'm an alcoholic. Friend. But there's a line in that song where the uh, he goes, let me inside some sugar walls. <laughs> 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 like, the, the, the song is just about getting drunk and, like, the things he does when he gets drunk. Oh, my God. I don't know. I just remember exhibits. I'm a fucking alcoholic. Yep. Exhibit? Yeah, Exhibit. No, I believe you're quoting the song Get Your Walk On by no, Exhibit. No, no, it's, it's it's alcoholic. Oh, see, in, in Get Your Walk On, he says, I can drink a whole Hennessy fifth. Some people call that a problem, but I call it a gift. <laughs> Bam. No, see, the other one's I'm a fucking alcoholic. Wait, what did Chris say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it took him about 12 hours to type. Yeah, seriously, Mufasa types like this. Dude. Matt wants to go inside Dave's walls. Oh, crap, walls. I fucked up. You delete, couldn't delete, delete, delete. even put sugar walls? Come on. <laughs> it wouldn't fit. No. Yeah, it wouldn't fit. That's why I put walls. It would have almost fit. It, we would have seen sugar, and then we would have gotten it. Give me inside that sugar. <laughs> you should have said... Uh, let's see. Oh, Get me in that S Matt, Matt, Matt oh! oh! Dave... Sugar wall. <laughs> I like how he writes it sugar. Chris well, that's no sugar wall. It's a sugar wall. Oh, wall. no sugar <laughs> wall. Something, something, play with my balls. That's how it, that's how it goes. Every day. Oh, that's classic Matup. I'm Where a rap extraordinaire. <laughs> Diggity dog. Oh, God. There's... I hear dead people. Oh, God, people are yelling. You too? Well, I don't know if you're the king of freestyle, but you're the king of fire Richard, you keep the show running. I'll be right back. Okay. 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 Matt is the fireside king. So, I... I, I, Quit! What the fuck? So, I saw this... Why did everybody leave? 
Who cares? We're, the show's still going. We saw this documentary. I saw this documentary about OJ. What right? the fuck? It, it was OJ Simpson, and, and it was all about the trial of of OJ Simpson killing his wife. But but yeah, allegedly. it was like allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, right. Because I brought that point up. Right. If I he did was, it. He's he not was guilty not, until he's proven guilty. Not guilty. He's not guilty. But but the whole thing is is no, look at what the media it. did to the whole as, escapade of it or all, right? Well, I mean, he fucking did it. Like there's <laughs> No, no. No, but don't look at it. Damn book. Were you there with all the evidence <laughs> laid out in front of you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was there. I was Then why did the trial end? Because Johnny Cochran is the best lawyer of all time. I don't oh, give a shit. Well, at the least don't fit, like every other white quit. person saying it's because the trial, like all the uh, people were all black, right? No, the, the OJ trial is proof that if you have a good lawyer, you can get away with anything. Well, that lawyer's dead, so that yeah. guy has no, no chance. No, to no, no. That, the, the, that was like the one who killed her daughter and then got off some <sighs> Dude, That's Johnny good. Cochran was the best defense attorney of all time. Yeah, but the media kept on saying he's guilty, he's guilty, he's guilty, he's guilty, he's guilty. Yeah, but he's guilty. the jurors oh, are oh, cut off. Oh, he's guilty, he's guilty, he's guilty, he's guilty. He's guilty. Oh, exactly. Oh, and how are we supposed to take it? Oh, he's fucking guilty. Dude, the jurors are cut off from the outside world, so they can't yeah, be poisoned Yeah, they're not allowed to... Know this shit. They yeah, but we don't they know hear. everything that's happening in the trial. They went by the testimony of the lawyer. They well, won't stick your cock in your Well, ear. to a degree, anyway. The, the, they, they got every piece of evidence that was put towards the whole thing. And I love how, after all these years, we're talking about this. And the well, ironic thing is, he gets caught for something else. Yeah, he got caught for stealing sports memorabilia, and then he got like 10 years for it. No, so he was stealing his own stuff. Regardless. It was his own stuff that he was trying to get back. Also, by the way, Rich, you do realize that OJ wrote a book that was basically like, <laughs> I didn't do it. it was what called, if I did? Yeah, it was called If I Did It. Yeah. I didn't yeah, do it. Because but if that's I the did. only way that Dang publishers would have taken his book to create money because he wasn't getting money anyway. No, Would you hire OJ Simpson regardless of what the job was? Dude, did you did you see Naked Gun? He was awesome. I know he was awesome. <laughs> but after that <laughs> incident that happened, he's not anymore. And thank God he's back in the jail because um, he did it. Because he tried to steal his own stuff back. Dave. Yeah, exactly. Dave. Yeah, he's like, give me my sports cards Yo, back. He's They're like, give mine. me give me that football back. That I was did. mine. I I I plead the fifth. <laughs> you can't plead the fifth. I'm Canadian. going to. Fucking don't fit. <laughs> Just did. I want to play I the do third. what I want. Asylum. Asylum. <laughs> if the Canadian don't fit. Asylum. Get another one. Hit you it. You never hear a Canadian going crazy and like destroying people. You know, I always wanted to run into a church and go, Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Okay, Quasi. Whoa, Chris. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Dave killed up to his wife. <laughs> Whoa, we kind of... You guys need to calm down. That, that was like a minute ago, yeah. Apparently <laughs> Chris had something right... Oh, my God. You didn't God. cross the line. Oh, that, that, that's too far. Too far. Yo. Uh -oh. Dude, that line is red, and it was crossed. What? Speaking of red, Richard, you look like the damn Kool-Aid man with that red T-shirt on. Look at the evil <laughs> Evil. Oh, you want to give a review on that? Oh, yeah. So I saw the. It's evil a pretty good T-shirt. Fits really well. Watched it a couple it times. It was actually the Evil Dead the musical. <laughs> I actually saw a play called the Evil Dead the musical. Keep it down a little bit because people are sleeping now. <laughs> oh yeah, it's eleven twenty. Hey Dave. Yeah. Tell your sister I said hi. Hi sister. Oh. oh. Which one? All three. Oh, no, why does, it, why does it live anymore? here anymore? There's At the been, same time. It's been a long time, man. I'll call it's been you. a long time. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Can you see? I'm, I'm going to send that to her. Here, here. Wait, do it again. <laughs> do it again. Hey. Do Which it. one? Which one am I giving a shout out to? I don't know. You. you all, all of them. Hey. Macaulay sisters. 
YouTube Alberto, famous. YouTube Alberto, famous. Done. Done and Alberto done. Alberto Matt Rio. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, maybe. that part out of it. And put okay, it so I movie. saw the Evil Dead. Well, it's yeah, it's Evil Dead movie. It's not the, the Evil Dead. Remake, it's, basically. It's How was Evil that, Dead. by the way? I was wondering about that. Here we go. Here's the review, okay. son. Okay, so what I thought, what I thought of it is... Well, can you give a rundown it, of, like, what, what it is, if there's anything... Oh, like, for the people that don't know what Okay, it is. it's a horror film. But, but what's the premise behind it? Like what The premise. It? Five kids go to a cabin, and shit happens. So, dude's hand gets possessed by the devil... Cut that fucker yeah, off. If you haven't seen it by now, oh, like, just Okay, if go you've through. never seen the original, there's something go out there. and watch that before I you see the, the other one. And then there's a chainsaw and... And, and, and a boomstick. And... Give those undead... Okay, okay, and so... Then, and then Rich passed out. He was like, I'm too overwhelmed with excitement. No, no, I just don't know where to jump <laughs> oh. back into this. Sorry, but, someone's getting arrested outside. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Put your webcam. Take your webcam. Is what that <laughs> Let's the, do it. The um, the wall next to my computer only sees an alleyway. Oh, like, damn it. Sirens and someone screaming. <laughs> <laughs> that it's, sounds normal. So, so I live. Normal. Well, I live downtown, and so there's a whole bunch of bars, uh, and there's Saturday usually drunk and shenanigans. Then. Yeah. And so yeah, that, you know who I am. I'm, uh, the, the alleyway uh, behind my apartment is a very common walkway. Because there's a parking lot right there, so usually there's shenanigans going on at night. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so sometimes on the weekends I sleep on the couch just so I can actually get some sleep. <laughs> Shit's cray cray. For real, real. Okay. Are they frozen? I think so, guys. Oh, did we not have a Canadian internet failure? Oh, Canadian internet failure. Check, ch check the stream. I'm checking. The fuck? Three, two. There we go. Okay, we're here. We're back. Don't worry. And oh, we're no, back. It didn't go down. It didn't damn, go down. Canadian oh, internet. Oh, okay, good. We're good. No, thank God. Close. I'm hardlined into the internet now, so it only goes down for like a couple you know, seconds it, and then comes back it, up. It's, it's funny you brought up Evil Dead because um I don't know if a lot of you guys heard about it, but tomorrow, I believe, is when Poker Night 2 is released. Yeah. And Ash yeah. is uh, one of the characters. In the 20, 23rd. Dude, you know who else is a character? Fucking Claptrap. Clap you, you guys can hear us, right? Yeah. No. Okay, good. I yeah, didn't know if we were know. muted when we joined, or joined back in, whatever. Is it, is it 23rd? Yeah, it's 23rd on Steam. Same day as uh, Dead Island Riptide. Yeah. Dead Maybe. Island Riptide? What the fuck is that? Uh, it's the new, the new game, right? Oh! Did we lose him again? <laughs> Just frozen like that. He came. There's two Daves. There's two Daves. Oh my god! <laughs> Not this shit again. Too many Daves, man. Two Daves. Two. There we he, go. We're back. He kicked himself out. Oh my god! Fuck! That's... Just happened. All right. No, it, it was just because it didn't actually register that we're gone. Funny enough, I don't time. think we went down once during that. I know. Good. That was good. All right. So Dave goes down all the time. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Not, Wink. not like, stop, please stop. <laughs> please stop. Uh, but yeah, Riptide is just like the uh, continuation on after, um, after the original Dead Island series. So, hmm. mm -hmm. and I played the first one like a little bit, but never really got into it. So uh, is this a sequel? It's a continuation. Yeah, it's a sequel continuation kind of thing. I, it's hard to explain because it's like. Uh, apparently, every like, I I don't really want to spoil things, but I guess I can. If you haven't played Dead Island by I'm now, I'm sorry, dude. That came out like you didn't get ago. off the island. Yeah. So you no, you do get off the island. You get off the island. And you take a helicopter, and the the person the the girl that you take with you is infested with the virus. So apparently, the virus is going to America, but. They're coming to America. Yeah. America. Du, 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 but hard, hard. from the way that it seems, you may get downed, and all of a sudden, there's a lot of water around you. So the a, a big thing in the game is traveling by water instead of by running or by cars. It's by boat this time. So, I don't know. So. Dead Island 2. Dead Island Micronesia. Yeah. <laughs> Dead Island on a boat. 
on a boat. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Dead island. We fucked a mermaid. <laughs> okay, okay, let's let's go back to what the main main song would be. On a boat, motherfucker. Zombies trying to kill us, motherfucker. Never mind that on shit. Boat, Get back to the game I'll actually play. <laughs> are you are you getting Poker Night too, Dave? Yeah, yeah. You gonna do a video on it like you did for the first one? <sighs> that I don't know. I was considering doing one myself. I I, I don't know. That that was kind of a spur of the moment thing. Hey Spence, I, how about gotta... you fucking beat Mike Tyson? Yeah, that you gotta That's think the about last that. Last time you beat Mike Tyson with tub when I was he's, seven, and he's exactly. not recording it. <laughs> it's even harder to record it. Well, okay. record your failures. Yeah, I. I there would I, be too many. I hey, record hey, one at least. We all we all watched my Super Mario Brothers Lost Levels. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's true. true. I'll give you that one. Oh, my LPs. Here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> When I when I do get to Tyson, because I know I'm gonna get to Tyson sooner or later, and when I do, I'm gonna like do a big prep video, like a big training montage video. Just you better do it of you, just going like. Oh yeah, Rocky. You know, oh please. Dave wants to see you jerking off. Oh, I just want to see those (laughs) muscles all rubbed down in oil, baby. I better start working out then. (laughs) Yeah, sure. Make sure you're wearing a hat. Yeah, yeah, you better wear that fedora with his shirt off, or no, with a white with a beater on, just doing this. Yeah, wife, I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. Tyler Spencer is wearing a hat. No, no, I yeah, swear, you gotta have he, some guy running beside you as one person's chasing you after on a bike and you running. Well, it would have to be a black guy because yeah. that's I don't really know. But, but, and nowadays, people would think, "Oh, here we go, Whitey. Oh, sleep trader." <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm sorry, but the guy on the bike was black, chasing after you. Yeah, but it's Carl Spence, on duty. Spence doesn't own a pink jumpsuit. I could order one. You get a Walmart and get one. That's not hard. It's Carl on duty. Come on. We can probably find one for five dollars. Go on yeah. eBay. You can get one. <laughs> we can go to the thrift store. But yeah, shit, it was ninety-nine cents though. <laughs> <laughs> I can easily get some boxing gloves. Spence going to pop some tags. Okay. Got $20 in his pocket. <laughs> Matt, you have to do thank my you, background Matt. song. Then. We oh, have to, thank uh, you. I, and by the way, I love your fucking thing there. Oh, yeah. Spence stole my bike. Stole my bike. <laughs> stole my bike. Oh, my God. That is such an old meme. I miss yes, that so much. But you have to do my background song then. Okay, fine. I'll fucking have it playing in the background. Dude, I, I'll thing. sing uh, the, the song from the Karate Kid. You're the best. <laughs> Please, I would fucking that would be great. Oh, um, I, I'll have a montage of my failures funny. against Mike Tyson. Also, so do you guys remember my film study class? Yes, yes. No. Like in, when I made the aftermath, that was yeah. for the, the class. Uh-huh. Slow motion, oh. good <laughs> cigarette flick. Flick. That was <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> boom, boom, my favorite thing. Boom, 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 <laughs> Hit you with the bass drop. Baby. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but. uh so there was a um, – we had this one – we were talking about movie score and how score really affects the way a scene works. And uh, we had to overdub um, a famous movie scene with a song to either change the meaning or to, um, like, change the feel or to just enhance it. One of my favorites was someone in my class – Took this. You guys ever see uh, Attack the Block? Yeah, that was actually a great film. I thought. Yeah, it was, it was a great flick, right? Yeah. You know, you know that scene near the end where the guy is trying to rally all the the um, aliens into that one room? Yeah, yeah. And he's like running in slow motion. Um. So this girl took that scene and overdubbed it with Kanye West's "Power." Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, that yeah. song. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dude, it, it made it. It was so awesome. Like it fit perfectly, and it was phenomenal. And I, what I tried to go for is just to make something that was absolutely hilarious. So I took the scene from Rocky Four where Apollo Creed gets beat to death. Go go! And I overdubbed it with "You're the best around." <laughs> so <laughs> it makes it look like Ivan Drago is the person you're supposed to root for. <laughs> you killed Apollo. And so, yo, so, Rock, stop the fight. So we're we're watching all the like so in my classroom, it's this big lecture hall that looks like a movie theater, and there's this big screen 
and then like we would always show our projects on the big screen. And when we got done, and you're supposed to stand up and take questions, like, you know, how did how'd you edit this? How would you yeah. come to the conclusion? Blah, blah, blah. And I stand up, and the lights come on. My, first, my professor goes, Shit. you fucking commie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Like, I wish... You happen to still have that video lying around, would you? I still have the video, but I can't put it anywhere because it's just nothing but copyrighted content. Right. Can you put it on a Vimeo? Can can you put copyrighted content on Vimeo? Uh, you yeah. You put it on Daily Motion. They don't give a fuck. No, I tried putting it on Daily Motion. It got taken down immediately. Wow. Vimeo is pretty good as long as like they're they're good with artistic values and stuff like that. So let me see if I can uh... start uploading that. Maybe you could if you like if you sang it yourself and had it mm. in the background be a parody or a cover. I'm making a Vimeo right now. Vimeo. Live on the Fuse Four Network podcast, he's going to make a Vimeo account. Apparently, that's going to be like the next competitor to YouTube because they have their their partnership program now. But you have, you st- you have to pay to be in it. You have to pay a little bit of money and shit like that. So, oh, somebody had an Xbox going. Oh, shit. No, that's me. That's me. That's my. Uh, that's my. Oh email. damn! I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> Vimeo BRP, just sent. BRP going to play injustice. Vimeo just sent me my confirmation email. Right there, just. Bam. I think Chris just wants to dance in front of all of us. I think he just what? wants to play some Injustice. That's what he wants I, I, to I, I want to still play this game. Like, And if he um, can't play it, he's going to dance in front of us. He's gonna yeah, because I, I'll go, I, I'm going to go Fandangoing. So I'll be back. Oh, please don't sing that theme song. That you <laughs> it's a ripoff of a, a song. I forget. I dream it's I, I don't know, yeah. but it also I sounds like Mary with Children. That's what it is. Wait, what'd you say? Mary I dream with of children. Genie. I dream of Genie. Oh, see, yeah. I thought I thought Spence was singing that song from Les Mis. I don't know. That, he just said I dreamed we... a dream, so I'm like, yeah. okay. I dreamed a dream of dream times dream. gone by. <laughs> when hope was young and life worth living. And I dreamed that love dry. would never die. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Oh, I was oh in God, Richard's gonna school. die. What? What'd you hear? You done? You got the. Oh God! I was like, <laughs> What do they think you're doing in there? You done? I, I thought he was dying or something. Was, he took off his headphones. He was like, What the fuck? Exactly. <laughs> I hate you. What? <laughs> I love you too. I fucking hate you. There's love in this group. There's no love. We all hate each other. Really. Hate the piss out of them. Fuck this guy. Yeah, Dave, you seriously, after you're done with this... You're Jesus, my ears! Sorry. <laughs> Dave, after these game fixes you have, you should seriously pick up Injustice. I've been telling you. Well, oh, yeah, it's on my list. I just need to beat Get all it, the games yeah. that I have. Like, I still have to beat fucking Tomb Raider. I still have to beat Bioshock Infinite. I, I have so many games that I have to go through. I still want just for fun. Ass. Like not even for my channel, just for fun. Wanna kick your ass shut up, bitch. Uh, well how far is it away from Mortal Kombat 9? It's a totally different game. It's a little different. Oh my god, it takes forty five minutes for a video to upload to Vimeo. Does it? Yeah, it says, Ugh. until you get Vimeo Plus it takes forty five minutes to convert your Oh video. that bullshit. Yeah, they still have that. But, can I can I share it on Google Plus? I don't know. You can. Can you share it on Facebook? Um, Facebook actually took it down when I tried to share it. Oh my God, this face been censored. Oh God, it's so ugly. It had to be. Censored. Yeah, but 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 it's let's say Facebook is part of the CIA. Oh, to... Google Plus goes through uh, goes through YouTube as well. Yeah, and if I yeah if I post it, it'll get taken down. Well, as come well. on, YouTube and Google. But. Yeah, it, it, like, is the combat system, it's, it looks exactly like Mortal Kombat. It's very different. Like, the, it's, really, it's the different. combo system? Yeah. The combo it's system, fluid, it's, it's really. the same engine. It is the same engine, but it's yeah, just but it like, feels like, it like runs other a lot than smoother. other than interactables, and I, I stuff think like that I think it plays off and, of like and the each, wager the wager system. I think it plays off with each character having a different like specialty, and it's like a different way how they fight. 
So it's like a superhero of different ways of how different. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't played it. So. I don't know. Please, Spence, you're the one who's played it, so you censored yourself. So uncensor yourself and let us know. Yeah, like I, I don't really. I, I feel like it's going to be the exact same. Well, I haven't played wager- the shit out of uh, out of Mortal Kombat. I have it. I've played it. I just haven't played a lot of it. Well, you but, still have an opinion. It, it does feel yeah. different, in my own opinion. Like here's it's- the thing. Like I feel like the fights in Mortal Kombat can drag on a bit sometimes. Like, like in speed wise, you can do a lot quicker combos in in uh, Injustice. It feels like a fight can last a really short amount of time depending on you know how good well, you are. It, it feels shorter because the the time between matches. Uh, it, like you 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 do one round, you kick that guy's ass. There's one quote, and then the guy's right back up. There's no like round one or round two. Fight. I guess that's kind of how it is too. Like, yeah. Because the guy gets back right back up and yeah, you have that second help bar. Isn't that down. a good thing? It yeah. is. Oh, definitely. That's it what is. I'm saying. Yeah. I think. And I, okay. Here's. It's a weird comparison. Especially in tournament play. Yeah. But when I uh, when I first played it and did like one of those uh, you know juggling combos. Yeah. It I never saw so a lot cool. of that in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> the juggling <laughs> combo. <laughs> It's like feeding a horse. Guys, you know, if you want to risk it, I could screen share my video. I don't know. See, I tell you what. When the podcast is done, when the podcast is done, remind me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll screen share so you guys can see it. But uh, but there, there's tons of juggle combos in Mortal back. Kombat. That's a thing. I think they're easier to do in Injustice. Is what my point is. I guess you don't have to be as skilled. Now, do you, do you think that because you didn't play much of Mortal Kombat, or that could be? Yeah, that's what I think it uh, might be. When I, I did will this, say that uh, even Bizarro said it was different from Mortal Kombat. Really? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I have to say, no. We're the, talking about full. <laughs> from the <laughs> demo yeah. that I played, it yeah. felt different from. Mortal Kombat. The story just... also has a different feel to it. Don't talk about the story. That's what I'm no, 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 no. I'm not going to talk about anything key. Away. You said it was a, hey, a better... Hey, 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 hey. I know, I know. Batman and Superman, I know, but keep I don't away. give a shit. But I'm not spoiling. It, it, I'm... He said it was an improvement from Mortal Kombat. If you he, can understand. What I mean by I difference really in like story... That. It's not just fight after fight. They have other things that you can do. That's all I'm saying. There are other little bits of aspects oh, no. of the story mode that'll that feels more adventurous, you could say, rather than just doing a tournament bracket, basically. So they added, they incorporated, like, the tower system into the story Pretty mode? Much. Tower si- well, that is there. Well, no, 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 no. Fucking ain't. That's not what I said. I said okay. it was different from No, that. no, no, no. Okay, because you they were saying they added... Tower, they do have a tower system in a separate mode. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, like... They have a couple of like different types of fights. It's not just the standard fight. There's a lot of that, but there's also like little side things before the fights. Oh, they had that in Mortal Kombat. Uh, yeah. I they did well, not the story modes I did. Yeah. It, what, really. what what are you talking about? Like two on ones and stuff like no, that? No, 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 no. They or don't like, have that. They, or like generative health and beat stuff. Beat like on that? something until it's destroyed, like in Street no. Fighter. It's it's like they it's it's kinda like quick time stuff, basically. QTEs? Basically. Yeah, QTE. Oh, okay. So it's like during during the uh, cutscene. During the cutscene, there's yeah, like yeah, it's PTE. like interactive cutscene, basically. Ah, uh, there you go. Yeah. You know what? I, I like that. As much of, as so many people say, I can't stand that. It keeps you in I the like story. It. I, it I keeps prefer you that. Attention. Yeah, like exactly. Going, hey, here's the thing. Though. Or or, or, or hey, you know what? I'm rolling my joint. Screw this. Here's the thing. What about like Metal Gear Solid Two? <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Depends on what kind of two-on-one we're talking about. His name. So, like Metal Gear Solid 2, that had, what, something like 15 hours worth of worth of video? Like, I, I don't want to have to be, like, Wait, on the ta- controller. Talking about 4. What? Metal Gear Solid 4. It's 4 hours. Is it 4? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Four, 4 has the longest amount of video. I'm just yeah. saying, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> but, like, I remember... If you skip the cutscenes in Metal Gear Solid 2, you can beat the game in like seven hours. But yeah. um, anyway, so I don't want to have to be like on the controller when I'm trying to pay attention to the story. Really? But aren't you going to hold on anyways? Like, if I'm playing, uh, I'm, I'm going to have there, one like... hand on it anyways, and you're usually only pressing one button anyways. Yeah, right? but like, did you guys ever play Shenmue? Yeah. 
Like, no. those quick time events just took you right the fuck off guard. Because you spend like six hours in the game with just regular cutscenes. And then suddenly you walk into a bar and you're like, hey, do you guys know where any sailors are? And then you get hit in the head with a fucking stool. Like, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Sa- you, you know where sailors are? No way. I know where a fucking backpack is. Bam! That's keeping you to on admit, your toes. That's the first what it one is. did take me by surprise. It's like, we one. know you're sitting there doing whatever, you know what? having like, your cigarette, watching it. <laughs> it's like fucking wirehead. Yeah. You never know what's going to happen. Exactly. Every fucking <laughs> secret, Ricky. <laughs> I love, I love that. Oh, Aunt Marty. speaking of I speaking of Trailer game. Park Boys, uh, yeah. wirehead, one of my favorite games. One of my top. I 10. love yeah. that game. Uh, Richard Collins, the uh, actor who played Phil Collins on... Uh, yeah, he on, passed uh, away. God bless his soul. He, he, yeah, he died. <laughs> when I read he your died? name after, when I came back, I was, Phil Collins, he fucking died? I had to go to, like, TMZ, and I was like, Phil Collins died? Yeah, everybody thought I meant the singer Phil, Phil Collins. Collins. Yeah. Like, no, 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 it's Philadelphia Phil. Philadelphia Collins. Genesis? Philadelphia, like, isn't it? Is when it? When are, so now no one's going to be like, what are you looking at MacGuffin? No, uh, everybody's <laughs> or, or have the bird, or what you looking at my Peter Butter and Jay. What the fuck are you doing, Phil? <laughs> I, They're I dirty think, fucking cops, Jay. <clears throat> I thank Netflix for introducing me to the the beautiful oh, it's a masterpiece I, that is. I think Showcase because I remember sitting yeah. there when I was young and I was like right after finishing playing. But we Goldeneye. live here. He's the, they don't get that. I right? know, so. but I was playing Goldeneye. And then I was like, you know what? I'm done playing Goldeneye. I what? Nobody was done playing Goldeneye. Back I, I, I was. I, I, I don't, actually, I'm not a big fan of Goldeneye. Actually, you know what? I was playing Goldeneye. I just beat the story. I was like, I'm done. I'm done for tonight. I'm going to turn on the TV. I'm going to watch yeah. some TV and get something to eat and watch it. Right? So I, I turn on the TV, and the first thing that I see is this show. And I was like, what is this? It's, like, it, it was Teletoon at night with all their, it, you know, fucking Duckman and shit. You thrust your pelvis. Oh! Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like watching this and I'm like eating and, and all I hear is like, fuck, shit, fuck, fuck, shit, fuck. And I was like, what is this? Shh. What is this? See, oh, motherfuck, Dave. motherfuck, noise, 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 noise. <laughs> it would cope. Drinking I, I wonder what that's going to be for the movie beers, that's beers, called. Beers. He's ripping a fucking bag there. Like, Matt, I'm sure you've heard about that. They're working on their third movie. Yeah, They're right, actually right. almost done making the third movie. Yeah, I, I wonder if, uh, what happens if Phil was in the movie. Like, I wonder if they just... Well, they'd rewrite it and have him die in the movie. No, or Dirty Burger like that. explodes. Um, that's all. Yeah. That's it. Oh, you don't Dirty think Burger that would explodes. be, like, that would offend his family oh, or something? No. Think, think, just looking at the date today, uh, Jay and Sam Bob's, uh, that movie they're doing, actually is in uh, previews. To, uh, actually came the, out the, in the theaters today. You always have a contract during movies, though. Like, if you die, there's always some kind of thing in your contract that goes yeah. along with it. It might so. be a Heath Ledger type of thing where they already filmed all his stuff, really. And they yeah. have it, it all depends if they... If he was even in the movie to begin with. I think oh, he so you was, say, but... You say he wow. thought but that, that happened so many times before that. Like, Bruce Lee died True. during the filming of Ooh. Game of Death. Yeah. Um, Brandon Lee... What's that? Crow. Uh, yeah, the Bruce Crow. Lee's son. Brandon right? Lee died during the Crow. Brandon Lee died during the movie. And which is... They, they took another actor. I didn't even know fucking Bruce Lee had a kid. What? Yeah. They took another actor. The crow? To wow. put him no, in I haven't even seen the finish crow. movie. Thing. So there's a scene in The Crow where this dude shoots a gun at Brandon Lee's character. As he's on the roof, right? Yeah. And so you replace it with a rear gun? No. So what happened was what a lot of people in movies will make blanks. <clears throat> yeah. So in order to make a blank, what you do is you remove the, gun, or the, the bullet and then you put like a wad in it. And then so yeah. it just shoots like a flash. Yeah. And what happened was the prop master actually removed the powder and put the bullet back and just left the primer. Mm-hmm. So you, you still get a pop and a flash, but what it did is it caused a bullet to get lodged in the the chamber. Ooh. And then so when they went to do another take and they used an actual um, blank, it propelled the bullet not as fast as it would if it was an actual bullet, but in, and it fucking hit him and he <laughs> went down. Yeah. He fell off the roof, didn't he? Ooh. No, he, I thought Ooh. the gunshot killed him. No, I thought he fell off the roof. I thought he got hit, and then he fell off the roof. Wikipedia! Because they were looking up at him, and they shot him. 
And then well, yeah, regardless, he got collapsed in. he got fucking shot. Yeah. This this is Bruce Lee's son, kid. Yeah. Yeah, dude, Bruce Lee's family's like the Kennedys. Like everybody just starts dying. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking immediately. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking when I said it. Woo, fuck. I think it's his daughter who runs the uh, his uh, Facebook fan page now. Oh, Is that all the... <laughs> really? That's all the Bruce Lee family have is the Facebook page That's now? basically all that's left. That's no, their legacy. No, all they got the left Facebook is the daughter. Page. No, there yeah. was a there was an epic battles of history. Yeah, there was. There was. Oh yeah, versus Chuck Norris. No, yeah. it was. Uh... It was Chuck Norris and no. Bruce Lee. No, 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 no. It was Clint Chuck Eastwood. Norris. Clint Eastwood. Oh yeah, it was Clint Eastwood. It was Clint Eastwood and Bruce Lee. But yeah, because... but I'm just thinking of Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris. And Bruce Lee kicking his ass. That was a great flick. It was. It was, wasn't it? It's on Netflix. Sure. Is. Oh man, apparently. Bruce Lee had this problem where people would like challenge him to fights in real life. Like, what the really? fuck? Yeah, yeah. yeah people would be like, yeah, I people like, would just guy's walk ass. up to him and be like, "I'm fighting you." And he'd be like, "All right," and he'd kick his ass. Like, he's... Oh, oh, you still hear us, right? Yeah. No. Yeah, good. No. Oh, Jesus. Go ahead. Keep going. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Apparently, Bruce Lee would be filming a movie, and some guy would come up and be like, "I'm fighting you right now." And he'd be like, well, I'm filming, but okay. And then he'd kick his ass, and then he'd go back and start filming again. I saw a video with Bruce Lee doing the, uh, what is it, like, he would go up to somebody's chest, here's the camera, and he'd just go like that and punch him, and the guy the would go like... punch. Here's yeah, the and the guy, punch. the guy would go like, oh, shit, and go flying back because there was so much force behind us. Be behind it, yes. Yeah. That's just because he just knew how to fucking force it. Yeah, I know. It was just, wait, how he was just some crazy that? martial arts guy who brought it to America and showed us how it was amazing. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> My dick is the one inch punch. Aww. Yeah, it's a one inch punch, so it's uh... longer. In a one inch. Uh, Two, four, seven, uh, baby. See now, we can't hear you, Dave. You can't hear us. Can't can't hear you. <laughs> yes, you can. I think you're full of shit. Dave, we can't hear you. Dave, you you need to stop, full of shit. sir. Dave, we can't hear you, sir. You're sir. Full of shit. Sir. Shit. You stop. Can, can anyone else hear, Dave? Sir. No. Sir. Did you say sir. something? Sir. Shit. Sir, you need to stop. Shit. Sir. 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 Oh, fuck. I keep forgetting it's mirrored. Sir, you're an idiot. Sir. I'd like to do another take. Would that ever rip it back? Oh, my God. All right. I think the show has run its course for this week. And yeah. I didn't even talk about the Evil Dead movie. Oh, that's okay. Go for it. Go. So the Evil Dead movie. I'll, I'll sum it up in a sentence. Well, There's can, everything take, take that Sam Raimi couldn't do. Take your time. Go ahead. Keep talking. That was it. Keep talking. It was, that was it. It was everything that Sam Raimi couldn't do. Yeah. Okay. So with that said, guys, this has been episode number eleven of. Oh, Keep we're not gonna pimp our shit. I see it. Oh, uh, fuck you. No, I, I was. I was <laughs> leading up to that. It didn't sound like it. It is. You're you doing <laughs> Calm down, Tyler. Come on. Jeez, okay. jump in the I know you want to leave. My God. With that <laughs> said, this has been the episode number 11 of the U.S. 4 Network Podcast. I'm Dave McCauley, and you can find me at uh, Twitter, Please Dave McCauley. Hey, fine, fine, fucking go. Here, uh, Chris, where can people find you? <laughs> um, You can find me anywhere. That says me, Boss Fernando, and probably anything you can think of. I don't even know. What about Xbox? Xbox oh, that's for us. Yeah, for Nasa Fernando. For Nasa Fernando. Salsa for Sisso. No, basically anything from Boss Fernando, you can find me. I'll me. There are two Canadian failures to your left. That's what I didn't understand. Damn it! it fucking you put the wrong arrow, you idiot. Yeah, there's no I one over there. I forgot it's mirrored. Damn it.
So is your face. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you looking the at? Illuminati. <laughs> so moving on. The Illuminati. They can't, so, uh, it's too bad. You can't see it. It looks like shit. Okay. Why do you have an American dollar? You Two know why? Canadian okay, pay. okay, before we finish this, this is a story. This is a story for it's a story. Uh, every other story. It's a story. Great, great story. So, eh? this so, is the story. So I was sitting there at the local Eastside Mario's. It's an Italian little pizza, restaurant. Pizza. Are you sure it wasn't a Tim Hortons? No, no, it wasn't a Tim Hortons. It was Eastside Mario's. Were you enjoying it? It's all a about New York. No, we Eastside were Mario's. enjoying our Tim Bits instead of donut holes. And, so, a, and, a, and a Tim Hortons double double? <laughs> triple, <laughs> triple, actually. Uh, Dude, I go double double. Or, my, I, 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 go, I go double double there. Yeah. I go triple, triple because I like the sweetness. Give me a large double double. So, so I was at this Eastside Mario's and I'm chilling there, right? Having my beer. It was like. Around You're Christmas. having a beer at Eastside Mario's? Yeah, because the other one, Shoeless Joe's, was closed at the moment because at that time they were going through innovations. Joe, so you the only Joe? closest bar to me was Eastside Mario's. So I'm going to oh, sit there and have Eastside a Mary's beer at the closest the bar. Right? So I, as I'm at Eastside Mario's, I'm sitting there drinking my beer. And, and because I'm a freaking nerd, I'm sitting there reading my, my novel as... I'm drinking my that? beer, right? I, I was reading Rainbow Six. If you guys I thought I was going to say, I was reading Rainbow Dash. Yeah, I was <laughs> reading, <laughs> yeah. I killed him no. on sight. I, I was reading Rainbow Six. So I'm reading Rainbow Six, having my beer. This is around Christmas time. I think it was actually probably on Christmas Eve. Oh. Yeah. You could have hung out with me. I know, but no one was around. <laughs> and at that time, Dave, you didn't talk to me. And so, for, for the Canadian audience, that's two days before Boxing Day. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, so <laughs> as I'm Christmas sitting there drinking my beer and whatnot, I see this guy pull out this newspaper, right? And I'm like, okay, he's reading his newspaper. He had a fucking newspaper? Holy no, no. shit. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Nah, before what the fuck I'm done, he pulls out his newspaper, then he pulls out a his piece. Dick. He pulls out one of those booklets with paper on it that's, like, blank, right? And then he a starts notebook? writing shit down. Yeah, like a notebook. He's, he's writing <laughs> shit down. So I'm like, okay, so he's writing shit down. And then... <laughs> yes? Did you mute yourselves? <laughs> They're reading the Illuminati? I think they just muted themselves again. You Canucks talking shit? Is that a chocolate book? We can't. Can you hear him? I can't. No, legit, we cannot hear you this time. I'm being serious. We we cannot fucking hear you. Oh, Seriously. before before by the way, I couldn't hear you guys. It was my headphones that went out. Dave, I think Dave? they're fucking with us. I think they're not actually. Uh, I think they're just mouthing. Oh no, they froze. Great. Mm -hmm. That's three fails in one fucking podcast. Well. Oh. Okay. I guess we'll oh, carry on until we like, get back. Um, I guess, uh, Joe, where can we find you? You I'm can find me at Video Gaming for You. You can find my Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, all on my channel page. You can find my blog spot with all. Fair. No, oh, are we off air? No, it, it says we're on. Like a second, it says still on air. Boners. We're back. So can I finish this? Yeah, no, let Joe finish first. Okay. He was saying where he where he find him. Now you can find all my my Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Blogspot on my main channel, Video Game for You. Thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. I hope you get more. Here's I'm doing all I can. So I love you, so Grandpa Joe. Hmm. I said I love you. I love you too. Oh, you sexy you beast. Up. Okay, Dick. Back to your story. Okay. Okay. So after I was talking to this guy who's writing down shit in his news in his notebook as he's reading newspapers, I turned to him and I go, "May I ask you what you're doing?" And he goes, "Yeah, yeah, son. I'll let you know. I I am kind of like a psychic." And I was like, and "He's like, yeah, I'm a psychic. I, I I read newspaper articles about murders and such, and, and then I I see premonitions and visions upon it." I write it down, 
and then I bring it to the police office, like the police, and then they deal with it what they get. And, they and put me in the white jacket. The, the, the creepy thing phone. is, he goes, 98% of the time, my information gets the criminal. And I was like... 60% of the time, it no, works no. every time. <laughs> exactly. So I'm like, what are you talking about? And then just because I, I asked him that, he goes, I, right now I feel like your life isn't going the way that you want. And at that moment in my life, yeah, I, I wasn't happy. But you know what? going the way they want. Exactly. Well, you're at a fucking bar on Christmas Eve. Nobody's like <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Exactly, yeah. right? So, so, so he goes, I'm going to give you a dollar bill. And I was like, a dollar bill? Why are you giving me an American dollar bill? And then he goes, he points at the uh, triangle and the eye on top of the uh, pyramid. And he goes, this eye is going to follow you. And just because I gave you this dollar bill, it's going to follow you with good luck. And I'm telling you straight up, after I got that, good luck has followed me. I've met you guys, right? Beautiful things have happened. I consider that since a curse. I got it. Yeah. You, you guys can might consider it a curse because you're stuck within that curse. But I find <laughs> it a blessing. Dave. <laughs> well, as, as uh, Dave, the Kill Switch Engage fan, this is my curse! <laughs> yeah. This is my curse! <laughs> <laughs> and now we need a gift. Head, uh, what the oh, Chris? <sighs> Whoa, Illuminati, calm down there. We need sir. to make we need to make a gift of the two uh, head bucket head bucking Canucks head bucking head bucking Canucks. head banging Canucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just need Rich doing that. Now. Treasure caves. If only I had the hair down to here, I would have. Like it, I don't but... think your girlfriend would approve. To be honest, I had my hair down to here for a while until I got oh. my hair cut. I used to. Yeah, exactly. So Dave, um, Dave. Hang on, let's see if I can find a... Uh... Remember Matt. Your mop, Dave? Yeah. Well, oh, my mop, yeah. Matt, where can they find you? Well, uh, everybody, my name is Matt. You can call me Matub, and you can find me at youtube.com backslash call me Matub on Twitter, at Matub SDMF. And I'm not giving out my YouTube, or my... Xbox Live Gamer Tag, because all you guys are weird. <laughs> all, all, by, the, by the way, guys, all the need-to-know stuff is in the description. It will be in the final yeah. version. Uh, everybody has their most important links and, down and below you know, in the like, description. If you just go to our channels, you'll find everything. You yeah, find we're never, and by the way, we're never going to answer your questions. We're a bunch of fucking losers. So, Tyler, you Tyler, guys go have an answer. The tub just got more handsome. That's when my hair used to be shoulder length. Oh, yes. Yeah, so what were you doing when they were taking that picture? You were just, like, swishing your hair Headband. around? You, you've never taken a jowl picture before? Oh, <laughs> that's, when you, that's when you, like, you, you just, like, shake your face, and then you take a picture, and then your face is like, Ugh. My face doesn't oh. really move that much. No, you go like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try it. Try it. Seriously, it's tons of fun. Okay. Well, not now. You're going to spit all over me. <laughs> Don't be afraid of germs. Tyler, it makes you stronger. Tyler, go for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Vince, where can we find you at? You can find me on YouTube at youtube.com slash fuse 4 spence uh, Spencer Blade 13. Yeah, we're trying to get it back. Get off my case about that. Jesus. Um, you got to email me about that. Yeah. I need to send in another email. We'll try to get it back. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at fuse 4 spence Uh Contrary to what Matt says, I do not have a bedtime. I choose when I sleep, sir. And my bedtime is now. That's why we're ending it. <laughs> I didn't say we had to end it, but um, I think, unlike Matt, I want to play games with you online, so I'm going to give you my Xbox. It's uh, Fuse 4 Spence. Oh, big surprise. Oh, wow. That's, so... That's the same face he made it to be when he first got in this hangout. KSE 87. Oh, man, my old school. Ooh. Wow, yeah. and actually, it's active this weekend because it's a free gold oh, weekend. I just it? beat, I just beat all of your uh, scores on Geometry Wars, by the way. Oh, fuck surprise, you. surprise! <laughs> and lastly, my Steam is Son of a Soldier 13. If you want to play games on there, 
Steam. I something I'm still not going to use. Spence, Steam. when are we going to get your dad on here? Um. Never. Eventually. Mike Spencer Press. Sometimes. When, when he well, when he figures this shit out. That's what. Well, awesome. you can find me at the Hydrasme uh, on like YouTube. You just search up the Hydrasme. I'm sure you can find me because oh, all my see, videos. You see it right you there. You see it at the Hydrasme on Twitter. So, yeah, you know, that's about it. You can find me on Xbox if I'm nice enough. I might add you. Yeah, and uh, all my forward, so he can no, all my stuff. shit is here. You're on my channel. Uh, it, things will change soon enough, though. You're on my channel. Yeah, everything everything will change. You're on there, my channel. There, there's things see. that are going to switch up, which will really fuck people up. There are some cool things happening. Just pay attention. It's a couple weeks from now. Um. Oh. But yeah, with that said, guys, this has been episode number 11 of the Fuse 4 Network podcast. We'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. Goodbye and good night or good morning. And Remember, next time goodbye. we may do a Q&A. Who knows? Fuck it. Fuck I love you guys. Bye-bye. Okay. And good morning to Emmeth, because I'm pretty sure it's like yeah, 6 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> you woke up like two hours ago. Good morning to good you. Morning. Good morning.